Okay, now let's continue Kiz 5. If you're watching us later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying. Some mild technical issues before starting, but it's fine. It's all good now. I was just messing around with encode settings a bit, and you did not like it. But the plus side is so far, not using AV1 and using HEVC seems to be working better. So it looks like HEVC is more intensive. Anyway, nerd talk. All right, uh, what are we doing? We are going to clear our mind. I'm pretty sure the dude that popped in was Daigo, but let's just go along with it. A new character, Shinada. Yeah, it's the same thing again. Hey, Tatsuo Shinada, right? Oh, yeah. And you are? <laughs> uh, of course you'd forget. 20 years is a long time. I'm not sure I follow. You really don't remember your teammate from high school? Your old training buddy? Wait, you played for West Kamura High? Damn straight. I was there until we were juniors. The name's Shirikawa. Shirakawa. Ringing any bells? Shirakawa, holy cow, it's been forever. What a coincidence running into you like this. Coincidence? Hardly. I've been looking for you all this time. I finally got word that you might be in Nagoya. It wasn't easy tracking your ass down. Is there any reason you came to see me? Yeah, revenge. Don't tell me you forgot about what happened. Is this about that game in our second year? Bingo. It was the summer regional final, the qualifier for us to go to nationals at Koshien, Koshien Stadium. What's wrong? Why don't you open your mouth and say something? I know I'm not speaking gibberish here. No, I, I know you're not. Then what? You'd rather forget what you did or maybe you can't even stand the thought of it. Well, allow me to jog your memory. The game that everything rode on was locked in a pitcher's duel. Me, the ace of West Kamuro versus Akamatsu, a monster who could throw at 150 kilometers an hour. It was the bottom on the ninth, score tied at zero. We had two outs, but also runners on second and third. It was a perfect setup for you to bang out a walk-off home run. Guess even a beast like Akamatsu must have been nervous with what, with a ticket to Koshien on the line, he ended up giving away three balls and no strikes. I can't visualize what he's talking about. On his fourth pitch, he deliberately threw a fastball outside the strike zone. His reasoning was simple. First base was open, so instead of giving up the clean-up hitter his big chance, it was safer to walk you instead. You could have easily walked the first, but no, you just had to swing at that wild pitch, which became a pop fly that went straight into the right fielders and the infielders glove. That out caused the game to go into extra innings, but at the top of the 10th, batters ran me ragged. We got destroyed. Then you quit the team the day after and even left school. Heard it was cause you blew out your shoulder. My shoulder was wrecked all right, but that's not why I quit. It was because I was betrayed by the guy I trusted most. You mean, yeah, you. Shirakawa. After my dreams of baseball went spiraling down the drain, I joined a small printing company. The year after, I watched you play at Koshien on TV. The entire time, I never stopped wondering why you went for that wild pitch instead of taking the walk. It took a couple years, but I finally got my answer. When you batted for the big leagues, your one and only time. What are you getting at, Shirakawa? I'm saying you're the kind of scum who puts himself ahead of the team. That only your own victory matters. How could you say that? Everyone knew Akamatsu was the tournament's top picture. I mean, you couldn't get a single hit off him the entire game. 
But you wanted to prove yourself, didn't you? That you were good enough to hit one of Akamatsu's pitches, that you were better than everyone else. Why else would you swing at an outside pitch on a three and nothing count? Like a fucking amateur. If only you had walked, we'd have been set for a winning game hit. But there was no guarantee you'd get another chance to bat, so you went ahead and blew it. That's not true. I read that pitch to the best of my ability, and I went for it because I knew I could win it for the team. But at the time, I simply did not have what it took to get a hit off Akamatsu. That was all, man. Don't feed me that crap. You can say any damn thing you want in retrospect, but that doesn't change what you did. You talk like it was some miscalculation, but I know better. The only reason you pulled back then was to satisfy your own ego. And I'm going to prove it to you. How? By making you relieve Akamatsu's pitching from 20 years back. That's how, Shinoda. That's crazy talk. You yourself said you didn't have what it took at the time. That means you think you could pull it off right now, right? Well done, Shirakawa. Are you seriously asking me to go up against Akamatsu from back in our high school heyday? I'd, like, need a time machine for that. No, dumbass. I'll be doing the pitching. I can replicate Akamatsu's style flawlessly. What about your shoulder? The hell with that. Point is, if I if you can hit what I throw, I'll know you had the skills and chalk it up to harmless error. But if you choke, that means you were shit to begin with. It'll be proof that you robbed me of baseball for your own pride, and I will make you play. Is that what you drove to search for me all these years? To figure out what was going on in my head? Okay then. If that's what'll make you happy, I'll gladly get a hit off you. Okay. You really want to settle this in a crapped out batting center? Doesn't matter. The lady at the desk told me you're a regular here. That true. Must be hard clinging onto your dead baseball dreams. That's not what it is. Whatever. This is how we'll do it. Our showdown will go for 10 pitches, hit a homer off one of them, and I'll call it a win. If you fail, you'll be sorry you did. Understood. Oh boy. Here we go. Can't touch this, Shinada. Oh, okay. This is hard. I'm not quick enough. Really? There it is! <laughs> this is an interesting side quest. Oh, it's more than a side quest. I'm going to be doing this constantly in this chapter. There, home runs in the bag. Now, I thought you threw hard despite your busted shoulder. Oh, wait. Now, I thought you threw hard despite your busted shoulder, but that was nowhere near 150 kilometers an hour. That wasn't even close to Akamatsu. I can't argue with that. I'm pretty surprised myself. Didn't think my pitching got this bad. Hirakawa. Look. All I need is a little time, and I can restage that door. I promise. Did you not just see what happened? There's no way you can pull that off. I will put it off. And when I do, I'll expose you for the fraud you are. Don't you dare think this is over. You really can't check the past, can you? 
Where do you think you're going, Shirakawa? Weren't you gonna smash Shinada into a bloody pulp? Kurosaki, were you watching this whole time? Kurosaki, as in the same Kurosaki from high school? Glad you remember. I hope you know my life's been complete shit ever since that fucking game. Man, what is up with today? Practically raining old teammates up in here. Donata, that was it was Kurosaki who told me where I could find you. Everyone knew Shirakawa hated you. I honestly thought he was out to take your life, but I guess he couldn't sack up. Drop it, I'll deal with him in my own way. What a tool. No, wait, that would be disrespectful. Tools are useful. Oh, suddenly you hate my guts too. Why? What did I ever do to you? And how do you know where I live? Listen to all these goddamn questions. What are you, a child? You completely fucked my job, smart guy. I did what? The Home Run King's record-setting bat. I was going to shake down this stupid security guard and sell that shit for good money. The job itself ain't glamorous, but it took time and effort to set up, you know? Had to pay off the other security staff and everything. Wait a minute. You were behind that fake bat distortion? Surprised? Should have seen that look on my face when I found out I got boned by a washed-up hack of a ball player who interviews whores for a living. Huh? So you rallied Shirakawa to get back at me. What's wrong with you, man? What made you go so bad? Simple. I'm what caught what you call a broker. Got something to do with baseball? Boom, I can turn it into big bucks. Lucky for me, this town has a pro team and plenty of baseball fanatics. There's no shortage of suckers, believe me. How could you stoop so low? Now then, you owe me one wrecked bat heist. I'll... Make you pay for that soon enough. Just you wait. Who are you? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna explain. I think this is just like Haruka's minigame. The more I play it, the easier it gets. Been a long time, Shinada. Huh? Who are you, old fella? <laughs> Who are you calling, old fella? Looks like you haven't matured much since junior high. Junior high? Wait, are you? You were a real hoot as a student. Wasn't it summer camp in your second year when you pulled that stunt in the boys' restroom? Whoa, 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 okay, I remember. You were my mentor in junior high. Coach Igarashi. Haha, <laughs> has it already been 20 years since you graduated? I guess it has. You trained me quite a lot back then, and the training was always something bizarre. You made me nap all day once, while everyone else on the team was sweating it out under the sun. I slept in the shade all day long. Is that really what happened? I don't recall that. You had me do vocal training on the roof too. You even made me clean your bathroom once with a toothbrush. Oh yeah, Matt, I remember. Then there was that one time you made me wax your car. Over and over, you admitted that it wouldn't help at all. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I got that idea from a movie. It wasn't that hilarious to me. I remember being pretty mad about that. By the way, coach, what are you doing here? I thought you lived in Tokyo. Almost right after your kids graduated, an acquaintance got me a job coaching high school ball over here. Oh, is that right? What a coincidence. Yep, of course. I'm retired now. Every day is starting to feel the same, if you ask me. Huh? I totally had no idea. Glad to see you're looking well. Yeah. You're not looking so bad yourself. I heard you left the big leagues long ago, but the way you're built, I can tell you haven't lost your passion. By the way, you're not in any trouble, are you? You seem to be squabbling with that guy from earlier. You're having a duel over baseball, as I understand it? Ah, <laughs> you saw that, huh? Uh, let's see. Basically, he's a high school teammate who decided that he has some access to grind. I see. 
Think you can beat him? Oh, well, definitely. Though, he did used to be a pretty good pitcher, and his determination to beat me off is off the charts. So I don't think victory's gonna come easy. Ah, oh, that's how it is. Alright, how about this? Would you like me to train you again? Come again? What? Is my training not good enough for you? Oh, no, no, it's not like that. In fact, your training was what got me to the pros. Then there should be no issue, right? It seems like the training you've done on your own just hasn't been enough. You know why? Because it's impossible to improve on things you haven't noticed about yourself. Kind of like correcting a bad habit. Yep, at present, you only have a subjective awareness of yourself as a batter. That's a very dangerous thing. Say if a pitcher exploits a weakness you're not aware of, it'll all be over for you. To prevent that, I can objectively identify and train the areas in which you're lacking. Like I did when you were just a junior high sprout. You'd do that for me? Yeah. You see, ever since I retired, I've been itching to work with young talent again. And don't worry, I won't ask for a training fee. Oh, that's music to my ears. Yes, please. Yeah, break as ever, I assume. Well then. Let's just get on with your training. You need to regain your instincts and properly assess your showdown. But if you train like I tell you, victory will be yours. Sounds good to me, coach. Very good. We'll start with some training to sharpen your dynamic visual acuity. Acuity. Okie dokie, what's the plan? Go fishing in mid-square. You want me to catch a fish? Seriously? Did I stutter? Now, be sure to concentrate on the water's flow, ascertain the subtle movements of the float, and reel in your prey at the right time. When batting, one carefully determines the motion of the pitch, then swings just at the right moment. Same concept. Okay. That's starting to make more sense. All right, coach. I'll believe you. Good. Now go fishing. What you catch doesn't matter. Anything will do. Loitering around here is a drag, so I'm going back to a bar I found. It's right here, a bar called First Shot. Once you're done fishing, come see me. Knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised if you were too broke to buy bait. So here. Oh, okay. Right then, don't keep me waiting too long. Yeah, I kind of have to do something about money. Mid squares that big park in the east. I'll see what I can fish up. Just a moment, young man. Ah? That man who was pitching just now, wasn't that Shirakawa? Does he have some sort of bone to pick with you? He keeps coming by and hounding me for information. Sounds about right. He finally agreed to leave something on the bulletin board and get on out of here. If you want to see the bulletin board, it's right here waiting for you. All you have to do is ask. Okay, I'll make sure to check in with you whenever I'm here. Okay. Well, let me go do this improving thing first. We'll be back. Eh? <laughs> マジっすマジっす。さっき街頭テレビで言ってました。よりによって藤田かよ。ないわ。まあ、俺もビビりましたけど、それにしてもあいつまだ監督やってたんですね。終わった。来シーズン終わった。ギガンツだったんだよ、
continuing that other thing. Yeah. Uh, hey, big boy, wanna party? I right, give you a real nice time. Huh? Is she a, a foreigner? I don't see too many in Nagoya, that's for sure. Come on, don't be shy. Party with me, I make you feel sexy all night. Don't worry, I affordable. Uh, I'm flattered, but uh, also I'm flat broke. Maybe we can party some other time. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> I can't cough. Whoa, I've never seen a cough that bad. You're not alright, are you? Hit the winter over here. Japan freezing, but it always hot where I'm from. Ah, I don't feel good. Maybe you caught something standing out here in the cold. You should go home and be in bed. Can't step, uh, got in trouble if I'm not working. Gah! Look, you're in no state to be working. In fact, you should be seeing a doctor. Doctors ask for money. That mean I have to work. Well, what about taking some medicine? Do you have some? Medicine? There are too many. I can't read. Excuse me. I can't read label. I can't just stand by and watch. The least I could do is offer a vitamin drink to get her through the night. Do I have one? I do. What it? What it? What? Yeah. Oh god, come on, big daddy. Let's make it a night to remember. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I got that, but you keep talking in circles. When are you gonna tell me the damn price? You even Japanese, jeez. At least you got beauty on your side, but brains doubt it. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I need to talk to her a sec. Huh? Yeah? Who said you could cut in line? Didn't you learn to wait your turn in grade school? No, man, that's not it. She's got a cold. I just bought her something to pick her up. Oh, this for me? What? She's sick? Ugh, I'm keeping my hands to myself, thank you very much. You take your germ party elsewhere. Look, I just find I not cough on you, do I? Wait, please, ah! Yeah, you are totally under the weather. I really think you should go home, but if I'm being too overbearing, then here, try this. It might just do the trick. Here you go. Thank you. You a really good guy. Ah, it's no big deal. Just trying to help. My name is Sarah. The first time Japanese person treat me so nice. So want to party? I give you the extra sexy service. One time offer? <laughs> That's very sweet of you. But maybe when you're not coughing and sneezing everywhere. By the way, is there some reason you have to keep at it like this? I get in trouble if I'm not working. He get angry, then I get hurt. You mean your employer hits you for taking time off even when you're sick? Hey you! What's the big idea? Huh? You just ran that trick off, you dang goof. We were watching the whole time. You're trying to mess with our business? I'm, I'm sorry, what? They always watching, making sure we work. You need go now, run, be safe. Ah, uh, you ain't going nowhere, pal. You owe us for that client your dumbass drove off. But all I did was give her something to drink. Can't you see she's sick? Well, that cost us business, you shithead. Now shut your pie hole and pay up or we'll knock your own teeth down your throat. <laughs> it's 15,000 yen to play, so we'll let you off with a penalty of 30,000. Fork it over before your hospital bill gets any worse. Yeah, how about no? Oh, and she tells me you hit her. That's a terrible way to treat your co-workers. Or your workers. Fuck off, these bitches owe us nothing for bringing their sorry asses into the country. Until they pay us off, we can do with them whatever we want. They're in debt. They lied to us. They say they're good jobs in Japan, but tell us nothing but debt about debt. When we come, they take our passports. Now we can no go outside unless it to work. We never have moment to ourselves. 
Shut your trap, wench. If it ain't me love you long time, then me don't want to hear it. You people are morally deficient, taking advantage of girls who are just trying to earn a better life. Wait till the cops hear about this. No, they say police are their friends. If we go to them, they send us back. Things only get worse. Nobody here help us. The only way that's possible is if they bribe the entire force. Ah, uh, huh. Well, I highly doubt that's the case. These clowns don't carry that kind of weight in paper or stature. Uh -huh. Hey! Yes, the hell we do! Psh. You might be able to con someone who just got here, but I know better. Our boys in blue would never let you get away with this. In fact, let's give them a call. Shouldn't be a problem after all. They're buddy-buddy with you, right? Wait! Could you not do that, uh, for the sake of convenience? Wow, you guys are a disgrace to men, to Japan, and to Homo sapiens in general. Huh? Why don't you take your condescending attitude and shove it up your cornhole? Better yet, we'll do it for you. Okay. Attacks are interesting. That tackle was pretty brutal. Damn. So you can get multiple people with that tackle. Okay, okay, you made your point. Just let us go. Yeah, no, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> We're ready to turn over a new leaf. Fresh start. Pinky promise? Well, when the cops get here, you can pinky promise them. Maybe even cry on their shoulder. After all, what's a couple of felonies between friends, right? Shit. We're screwed. We appreciate your cooperation. Thanks to you, we finally shut down this trafficking ring. The seven foreign nationals involved have been taken into protection. Were all of them tricked into coming to Japan and forced to work on the streets? It would appear so. In some countries, local mobsters are known to approach families in poor areas and promise them stable jobs abroad. It's a serious ongoing problem, but this time we have a solid testimony thanks to the scum you apprehended. Gives us a better chance to close this book. I didn't read that correctly, that's fine. Paraphrasing. Thank you so much, now we all go home. Really, I am grateful, please take. You are very brave, you saved everyone. Uh, to be honest, all I did was stumble into a lady who I thought could use a crisp, refreshing vitamin drink. That's about all I could offer someone working through a cult. About that. Huh? I'm sorry, but I lie about the cult. What? They told us police were their allies, that police even worse with punishment. So we had no one. I wanted to find Japanese person I could trust, someone with kind heart who listen. So I pretend to be sick, to see if nice person come along and help me. Ah, so that's what you're up to, huh? You sure reeled me in. Hope you're happy with your big catch. I thought everyone in this country was rotten, but not you. Thank you for being different, for reaching out to me. I not forget when I go back home. Thank you, and goodbye. You can upgrade your abilities. Okay, what am I upgrading? I mean, I'll just stick to the usual things. Just keep upgrading body. Doesn't seem to increase his health much. I noticed that. Oh, wow. There's a lot. That's fine. 
Oh boy, it's victory road. His moves seem to interrupt attacks quite a bit. That's a side quest over there. Come on, Chief. That's just cold. Are you really gonna walk on by without even so glance? I missed the first one. Um, what? Step inside to discover a world of wonder, mystery, excitement. Our massage parlor guarantees a happy ending with every purchase. It's the happiest ending on Earth. We're the cheeky chestnut, and for the incredibly low price of 4,500 yen, our, our girls go the extra distance for none of the extra pay. Ah, that is cheap. I've never heard of this place before. Well, we only opened recently, but I can only guarantee that our girls will not only give you a happy ending, they'll give you a new beginning. It could very well transform your life. I guess I could use this for a story if worse comes to us. Relax your mind. Clear your thoughts. Unload yourself. This is a one-of-a-kind experience that people desperately need. Especially in dark times like these. I don't... I don't have the money, though. Nah, maybe some other time. I'm broke as it is. Oh, too bad. But hey, we'll be here. Alright, we'll be back. I, I don't have... I have zero money. Yeah, no happy ending right now. We have no money. I think the easiest way for me to get money is just beat someone up until... Until they drop like a plate. Oh, あの野球賭博事件の時のワイバーンズの監督だろ。よ、監督復帰できたもんだわ。しかも料理によってあのギガンズの監督になるとは名古屋の人間馬鹿にしとるのか。何も知らないくせにバカ。うん。兄ち
そうだな行こうかなじゃあお店の屋上で待っとるね How's、uh, the rest of like a dragon? Milka chan said to meet her on the roof of Futumomo. I hope the cake's not all gone. Just kills me every time they say Milky chan. <laughs> Stopped at chapter 3. It doesn't seem as fun and, and funny as this one. I mean, sometimes they take a while to build up. Not all of them. Have fun side quests right away. Um, but let's see. There are some that I guess are a bit slower than other. Like, probably the third one is the one that I found to be a bit slower. This one, I would say, is like very close to being my favorite one. No, it's not quite there. Wait, Tachan? Oh, hey, Miyu-chan, how's it going? Haven't seen you since that article.、Uh, I think it was. If I had to be honest, I'd say I'm kind of run down. Are you done for the day? You're the top drawer at your parlor, so they must keep you busy. Hmm, that's not exactly it. But I have started working extra shifts. It's kind of wearing me out. That's good. Want me to introduce you to a good acupuncture guy? Hmm. I just might take you up on that sometime. Anyway, I have to go. I'm meeting someone right now. Sure. I'm looking forward to our next juicy article. Mew chan just got off work and all, but even so, she looked really wiped out. I hope she's not grinding too hard out there. What? Well, she can't even stand. Is she really okay? Hang on, before we do. Oh, but I don't have money. This character's poor. <laughs> I'm trying. My current objective is one where I'm trying to figure out the mystery of a baseball game that people think I threw. But the secondary goal is that I need to get enough money to get a happy ending. And yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm not going to rephrase that. Hey, Mia chan, are you okay? Oh, Tachan, I feel all lightheaded. How many hours are you working? You should talk to your manager and cut them back. The parlor isn't making me work. I asked for extra shifts. Did something happen? My new boyfriend, he owes money. I wanted to help him out, so I started working extra. I think I overdid it, though. I see. Your boyfriend's a lucky guy. He knows I work at a massage parlor, but he doesn't judge me for that. He said he'd even settle down with me once he's out of debt. Then I can quit working like this. Maybe I can even be an ordinary wife one day.、Mm. That'd be nice. Listen, why don't you go back to the parlor and take a load off your feet, at least until you can walk home? But I promised to meet my boyfriend. He has a loan repayment due today, and I need to get him the money. Why don't you get him to come get it then? Oh, please. I don't want him coming around here. You can understand that, can't you? You said he wouldn't judge. You know what? Never mind. Why don't I deliver it for you? Hmm, well, okay. I think I can trust you, Tachan. If you really don't mind, please take this to him. Here's the money and his photo. So you know what he looks like. Ah.、Oh. Oh, this is the lucky guy. Ah, can't say he's too bad looking. Yuji should be waiting for me around the TV tower. Yuji, roger that. I'll go find him. Oh, it's just gonna take me there, okay. Hmm, guess Yuji Kon isn't here yet. Oh, wait, is that him? Uh, you, you, Jikun. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm here on behalf of Miu chan. She isn't feeling too hot today, so she asked me to bring you this money over to you. Oh, yeah? Sweet. That's great. 
Okay, I guess that's that. Yeah, you saved my ass. Well done. Aren't you gonna ask about me, chan She's too sick to even come to see you, you know? Yeah, but she's a tough old bird, so to speak. I'm sure she's holding up. I'll send her an email or something. Anyway, later. Is that guy really Mia-chan's boyfriend? This is not the kind of behavior I expected. Also, look at the NPCs. They just can't... They can't figure out how to walk properly. There you are, Yuji. Did you finish up your little errand? Yeah, all good now. Let's go drink up a storm. What the? <laughs> oh boy. Hi. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You still hanging around? Who's that girl? Don't tell me you're cheating on Mio chan. Yeah. What's with this guy, Yuji? Nothing. Let's just ditch this loser. Mia Chan's slaving away to help pay off your debt, or did you forget? Did you promise you were going to settle down with her? <laughs> huh, that will never happen because Yuji's marrying me. Who'd marry some bimbo who works at a massage parlor? I see what's going on here. So this girl's here in on it too. Just the two of you are just using Mia Chan for her money. I know this isn't fair to Mia Chan, but you better not tell her. You know, it'd break her little heart. Huh? Yeah, and cut off your cash flow. You're starting to get on my nerves, man. Want me to chop your ass up? Holy crap, that's so many people that just appeared in the background. What? I may not look it, but I can hold my own in a brawl because I know karate. Even busting out a simple kata routine gets Miyu-chan super wet. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't say. Then maybe I give you a good ass kicking. Miyu-chan will see you for the slimy little runt you are. Let's see if you can back up those words, you old shithead. Well. If he wants someone to get wet, I guess I can throw him into this river here, or pond. Throw him! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> nearly, nearly, nearly. Get up. Get up! What the- GET UP! <laughs> you won't get up. Ah, oh, didn't throw him. Damn it, how the hell did I lose to this chump? Hey, so what are your intentions for Mia chan Huh? She's working her heart out for you because she believes you and her are going to tie the knot one day. How you gotta be joking? What kind of idiot would tie himself down to a meat masseuse? What? Sure, we had our fun, but that's all it is. A kind word here, and there is all it takes to keep her bringing the bacon. I'm not crazy enough to marry a woman who spreads her legs for a living. I can barely stand touching that tramp, let alone the thought of wasting my future on her. So is that how you really feel? Or how it really is? Huh? Ow! Miu-chan. What a fool I was to get taken in by you and your cheap lies. Miu-chan, you've got it all wrong. It's just... I've really hit rock bottom, haven't I? I'm so disappointed in myself. Mia chan <laughs> well, I guess the cash you just gave me can be my severance package. What did you just say? Ah. Uh, if you want to stay in one piece, you might want to pay back all the money she gave you. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why the hell would I do that? Yeah. You won't see any of that back. She gave it out of her own free will. I see. Well, let's find out what her co-workers have to say about that. The bodyguard there is built like a pro wrestler, you know. What? He's real good at debt collecting. The punching and the kicking kind, that is. If I were you, I'd be paying that money back a priority. Hey, wait a minute. Mia-chan is the number one girl at her job. 
They'll do whatever it takes to make her happy. No, no way. And don't think that just paying back the principal will cut it. She's gonna need compensation on top of that, scumbag. Ugh, god damn it. I'm sorry you had to see that, Tachan. I'm so ashamed of what I let myself fall for. Are you any better now? How can I be? My boyfriend just completely screwed me over. I've never felt this low in my life. It's like I'm polluted, and there's nothing I can do to wash it away. That's not true, Mia-chan. There's nothing polluted about you. It's those two who are full of filth. Oh. You're pure, Mia-chan. Pure, and beautiful, and shining like a light in the darkness. I mean, that with my heart. Tachan, thank you. I feel terrible for getting you into all this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't have to be. I didn't do anything special. Anyway, I know it's not much of a condolence, but at least you won't have to work so much anymore. Plus, you're free of that self-serving asshole. Maybe it's for the best. That is true. I just wish it didn't have to happen at the cost of my dream. Guess I won't be hearing wedding bells anytime soon. <laughs> but, you know. Hmm? I might have found a new candidate for my next boyfriend. Could that possibly be me? <laughs> Let's just say I'll give you some extra steamy service the next time you swing by. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't do woohoo with this guy. Like, just wahoo, woohoo. Yahoo, bing bing wahoo, man. <laughs> um, oh, here's a little something of thanks. You take it. They keep giving me cherry tree branches. Well, I guess I'll see you at the parlor, Tachan. Thanks again. Marry her? Well, I can't. NPC relationships only go so far. Probably won't get to see her again. What is this? This beautiful branch has a strange power to draw in those who behold it. Maybe you could use it for something. Okay. No idea. Oh, yeah, right, the fishing thing. How do I do it? Usually there's an indicator. Oh, yeah. I just have to catch one thing. <laughs> Special one. was that Matt? Now I go meet him at the bar. Somehow this relates to baseball. Okay, coach. Mission accomplished. Be back to report in a minute. Dude, this oh, there's so there's so much to do here. I guess I should go to the edge of the map first. I don't know this town. This is a new town, so... I'm still learning the lay of the land. Speaking of the lay of the land, what is there to do? The Gaia. Famous Banya. Okay, we go. There's a club Sega. Karaoke. Batting. Acupuncture. Oh, but these are like... Club Eden May Navi. Interesting. Okay.
Oh, it has... Never mind. I thought it had an underground area. Uh, excuse me, you're right there. Uh, well, uh, well, you should not have son. Huh? Oh, I know you. Don't you work part time at the editorial office? Emoji, right? Are you working on a story? Yeah. No. What story could I possibly be working on? I'm starving, man. Can't move a muscle. I only had energy drinks this week. I'm so weak I can't even stand, let alone speak. Well, I know you got paid peanuts, but you had to know you'd end up this way if you didn't eat. I know, I know, but here I am. You have to get something in you. Fine, wait here, I'll go get you some grub. I think it's fate that brought you here, Shinoda-san. Maybe, may, may I make a request? Yeah, what? Just in case this happened, I kept this 500 yen coin as my trump card. You should have used that earlier. I may be down, but my spirit is pure. My pride won't let me accept charity. Then you're better off prideless, I say. Yeah. No, my pride is what carries me. When I was a child, and deep into poverty, when, when the rich kids would keep the trading cards and throw away the chocolate, I never once picked up and ate it. I accept to accept charity now would be to betray my childhood self. Yeah. I can't bring myself to do it. Dang, you just had to go inspire me. Alright. If it means that much to you, let's hear that favor. Please, buy me the most expensive Nagoya specialty you can with this 500 yen. The more health it can restore, the better. Okay. Okay, so get as close to 500 yen as possible and it has to be a Nagoya specialty. Oh, but the more health it restores, the better. How am I even supposed to gauge that? Bigger it out! Ah! I can feel my st stomach eating itself. Well, you know what they say, hunger is the best seasoning, but damn, why'd I have to find out like this? All right, I get it. I'll zip back as quick as I can. Don't die on me. Please, hurry. Um. So am I just supposed to know what a Nagoya specialty is? No one's paying attention. What am I to do? Uh, hello. Huh? Why, if it isn't Tachan, um, you know me? Of course I do. It's me, you know, from Shachoko Ramen. Oh, hey, boss man. Haven't seen you in a minute. What's with the sash? You trying to be some sort of politician? That I am, I, as someone who makes a living in Kineicho, I think it's time I gave back something to the community. The recession has taken its toll on all of us. My firm belief is that politicians should consider the plight of the unfortunate and lead their local communities. In order for that to happen, someone in a position of power needs to be their voice, so I decided to enter politics. Well, you're not fooling around, are you? Nice to know someone is committed to taking our side. Actually... I don't even know your name. Hmm, I suppose not. The name's Shoujo Matsukane. Like it says on this sash. Please remember to vote for me when the election comes around. Uh, a sash with his own name? Come to think of it, I haven't been to Shachoko in a while. You are sure the shop's gonna be okay while you're out here campaigning? Oh, certainly. I've got a good crew working over there, so my mind is clear to focus on the election. Got it. I see it taking the street corner speech approach. Trying to, but everyone just walks right by without a second glance. No one stops to listen. Say, Tachan, how about you be a shill for me? <laughs> just stand there and listen to my speech. Oh, no thank you. Why would I want to do that? Come on, don't be that way. I've been trying to rally interest as best as I can, but everyone gives me the cold shoulder. I'm getting pretty discouraged here. 
That's what a street corner speech is all about, though. People will gather around if you give them something inspiring. Perhaps, but remember, I'm no celebrity. You should see how quick these people are to pass me by. I may as well be invisible. Aren't you supposed to raise your bo voice and show how passionate you are? Maybe bust out a megaphone? That's easier said than done. It feels terrible when no one will give you the time of day. Well, if you're that much of a nobody, why not get someone big to give you an endorsement speech? That should help gain some traction. Ah, an endorsement speech. That could be the ticket. Good thinking, Tachan. I'll start asking around right now. Okay. Well, the question mark's still above his head. Alright, an endorsement speech. Now, who should I get to give me a proper speech? Okay. I guess there's a part two to this. Hey, Shinada. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. You sure got that week before payday air about you. Well, here's a stroke of good fortune for you. Here, take one of these. The prize ticket. A prize ticket. Yep. It's a part of the local community things that the Chamber of Commerce is doing. You're supposed to get some for shopping or dining locally, but get this. A bunch got blown away by a gust of wind. Now you can find them all over town. We spent quite a bit to round up some decent prizes. Try your luck at the prize wheel. It has to take a turn for the better sometime. A prize wheel, huh? Can't say no to something that comes free. I'll be happy to partake in your generosity. Yeah, you give it a go. And work harder too. Prize wheel, huh? Right then, let me get rid of that ticket for you. Go on and give it a spin. I can't believe it. Congratulations! You won number three prize. Lighter oil. Thank you very much. Please come again soon. I could probably sell that. I'm, I'm so poor in this, it's not funny. Oh man, <laughs> look at these chicken wings. Why oh, game? I mean, it said close to as 500 as possible. What else have we got? I'd destroy like a, a whole pack of those. There's another food store across the street. I think. Yeah. No, oh, this is the... Okay, never mind. I just saw yellow. I was going by the color. The famous Banya. That's what that is. But see, the other places that sit and eat. I'm just gonna get the wings. It's fine. It doesn't look like there's another place. Who wouldn't be happy with chicken wings? They look, they look pretty good. My bad. Oh, there's another price ticket. Maybe that's how I make some money. Oh, Shinada san, thank god, did you manage to bring me some food? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, well let's do. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. The power of chicken. The magical healing properties of chicken wings. 
Huh, <sighs> this must be what it feels like to be revived from the dead. Glad to hear it. So, did it meet your expectations? Yes. I was hungry enough to eat anything, but you came through with something quite satisfying. This is another thing I was saving for a rainy day, but since you were so helpful, please take it. A rubber ball. Listen, if you had some kind of trump card saved up for a rainy day, you should have used it a long time ago. You were, no joke, starving to death. <sighs> well, you never know when something worse might happen. Sorry to put you out, though. Man. Run your own errands next time. I got to keep the change. Why do I get the feeling that I'm gonna learn an attack that's gonna involve the ball? This is like when I got the carrot with Saijima and then I learned a special move that turns someone into a snowman. I just get the feeling I'm gonna hang on to that ball. I just have a feeling that it's gonna happen. Any luck? Just a man I want to see. You wanted to see me? I thought you were gonna find someone to endorse you. What happened to that? That's just it. Nobody would come out. They all said they were too busy to help. Ouch. Guess you're not very popular, are you? Isn't that a kind of problem for a politician? Boy, that is really not what I needed to hear right now. Haha, <laughs> that was just a joke. Someone's got a light in the mood. Tachan, things are getting pretty desperate here. I hate to impose, but can you do an endorsement speech for me? Ah, huh? Me give a speech? What, are you nuts? You know I can't do that. I'm begging you, please. I'll explain my policies right now. Oh, and throw in some wonderful qualities about me as well. I'm going to have to write this down, aren't I? Okay. Ah, uh, like what? Oh, come on. There's so many. Don't you remember? When you were flat broke, I'd give you portions. Big portions for a price of a regular bowl. Did. Did that actually ever happen? Happened all the time. Come on, Tachan. Be of some help. I simply cannot stand it anymore. Being out here alone is so, so horrible. You don't have to cry about it, you know. No one's forcing you to do this. Granted, yes, that's true. Besides, who's going to listen if I make a speech? An endorsement only works if someone's famous. I tried to ask people like that, but each one turned me down. Maybe if you just start speaking with a fiery fervor, people will automatically assume you're someone famous. And then they'll stop and listen. Ah, uh, yeah, I doubt that. No, I'm sure it'll happen. You're my only hope. It's either this or my career as a politician is ruined. Or doomed. Please. <laughs> Give a speech. Oh, well, alright. You've always been good to me, so I owe you one. Let's see what I can do. You mean you'll help me? Really? You're the man, Tachan. Don't go expecting too much. You and I both know it's a long shot. Duly noted. Okay, dokie. So, I should talk about what a great guy you are while simultaneously promoting your platform, right? You don't have to put it so bluntly, but yeah, that's the gist of it. So what's your platform anyway? Well, I'm an advocate of three key policies. Tax cuts, job... Okay, tax cuts... Job... Creation... Um, child care support, sure. You could say that the three pillars of my political philosophy. Got it. Have you thought of how much you, how you're going to achieve them? Of course I have. I'm not just doing this political thing on a whim. It's a bit lengthy, but let me fill you in on these policies. First, oh god, tax cuts. Ugh. Okay, um, reduce. Residence tax. I should screenshot these. It's probably easier than writing it out. Okay. 
By cutting wasteful government spending, we can systematically reduce tax burden on all our citizens. That will spur consumer spending in their local communities, which will in turn stimulate growth nationwide. Wow, that sounds like an actual policy. Next, job creation. This also involves tax cuts. Okay. Um, the TLDR is like, reduce corporate taxes in Nagoya. Okay. If he says tax cuts again for the third one. But the more money you make, the more taxes you pay. As a result, companies try to move their operations to tax havens offshore. However, if all that, all the rich were to flee Japan, the burden would fall to the rest of us. And eventually it would come full circle. That's why I strongly believe reducing the tax burden on companies and the wealthy will revitalize Nagoya's economy and result in new jobs. Because as we all know, the trickle works. Just trickle it down. Just that sweet yellow colored trickle. <laughs> I'm sorry. It tilts me so much when they say, yeah, the big companies, if you like, tax them less, then they might stop running away from paying taxes. And then they'll trickle down those benefits to the poor people. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Okay, got it. So it's not always bad to give the rich a break. Go figure. Childcare support. In order to raise the birth rate to sustainable levels, the government needs to do its part to help child-rearing families. I'm proposing that the child tax benefit be increased, okay. Child tax benefit increase. Alright, we got the gist of it. That, that doesn't sound good for me. Like a tax coming from single people? No, it doesn't. So singles will think it's more worthwhile to raise kids. That'll encourage more couples to marry. In increase the population? Perhaps this may be criticized as just vote buying, but I think the government needs to invest in the younger generation. True, true. Okay, I think I got it all down. I'll try to work all of that into my speech somehow. Then I'll be counting on you, Tachan. Yep, so, just to recap, your three pillars were tax cuts, job creation, and childcare support. Ah, uh, that about does it. Well, here goes nothing. P from the rich people is all we can hope for. <laughs> Um, good day, fellow citizens. I'm sorry to disturb you on your busy day, but may I have your attention? What's going on? Is that some campaign rally? Who is that man? I'm sure I've seen that face before. Maybe it's somebody famous. My name is Tatsuo Shinada, and I am here today as a representative of the common people in support of Shozo Matsukane. Matsukane, she has long operated a ramen restaurant in town. He can be considered a hero for filling the bellies of our fellow citizens. Being locals like myself, I'm sure you at least know of Matsukane Shi's ramen restaurant, which goes by the name of, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the ramen place? <laughs> I didn't write... The one thing I didn't write down! It's not the bottom one. It's either one or two. I feel like it's two. Uh... Sh Shachoko? Shachoko Ramen. Held in the highest esteem among ramen fans in the know for its uniquely Nagoya charm. Hello. Okay, it was correct. I am indeed the manager of Shachoko Ramen, and I hope I may count on your support for my entry into politics. Oh, so that's their manager. I've been there. They're tasty. Now I want ramen. As a regular Shachoko ramen, I have enjoyed many heaping bowls of steaming noodles there. This personable and kind-hearted manager hopes to enter politics to represent us, the everyday folk that keep this town afloat. That's right. So... Wait, Pless? Plessy? That's a typo. So, Plessy, remember to lend Shozo Matsukane your support on election day. Plessy! <laughs> Plessy. Matsukane Shi's platform consists of three pillars. These pillars are the policies he'll make every effort to enact if you would grant him the chance to serve you in office. The first pillar, tax cuts. If the financial burdens on our citizens are not reduced, the economy will remain more abundant than hopeless. 
Matsukani Shi's pledges to reduce the residence tax that we all currently pay. How does he propose to make up for the short call from the reduction in the residence tax? The answer is to transfer from the National Treasury. Get transfers from the National Treasury, and by cutting waste from national budget, resident taxes in all our communities will be reduced. The Japanese economy cannot be revived without a single improvement in the people's standard of living throughout the country. It's up to the local communities to inform the national government of this critical fact. I hope to be the vanguard of that movement. I'm all for cutting taxes. I'll be holding you to that. This economy really does need help. Matsukani, she pledges to reduce your taxes as his first policy if he's given the chance to be a voice in the government. I, Shozo Matsukane, promise to fight with my life to honor the trust you place in me. But you can only give me that opportunity. But only you can give me that opportunity. Jeez. Next, second pillar of his threefold platform, job creation. Something must be done about the ridiculously high unemployment. In these tough economic times, we must reverse the shrinking job market. How is Matsukane Shi's gonna tackle this? Um... The tr- yeah, trickle. Just what they're gonna do. The corporate people are gonna unzip their pants and then allow it to trickle. By reducing the corporate tax burden, if we make Nagoya an easier place to do business, more companies will be drawn to this area. Companies setting up shop in Nagoya will need to hire from the local community. That means jobs for our citizens. I propose to lower corporate taxes at the municipal and prefectural levels to make Nagoya more attractive to businesses. Yes, this may be criticized as pandering to the rich. However, enabling companies to lay down roots will eventually benefit the entire community. Yeah, listen, about that. They did that with the car industry here in Australia. <laughs> it did not work. It resulted in, like, um, there was, like, a, a car company that started in Australia. And, uh, it was just one of those things that the people were clinging on to. And it got bought by Chevy. And the moment that, like, they stopped giving them money, they just converted all the cars to be Chevy branded. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm, I suppose that does make sense. It would be good if my son could find work close to home. Maybe I'll start my own business. Fellow citizens, I can assure you that Matsukane Shi has nothing to do, nothing to, nothing but our community's interest at heart. I know how to read, okay? I went to school, I paid, played baseball. Then I went to have a great career in baseball until I fucked it up one day and uh, here I am making a speech for some random dickhead on the street. Hey, how's it going? He will be a leader who sees things from your perspective. That's right, I, Shoza Matsukane, pledge to never give you up, nor like. Excuse me, did he just Rick Astley? What? <laughs> no, come on, this one has to be on purpose. There's, there's no way, like, someone squeezed in this reference. We're an old stranger, it's too love. You know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> now then, friends, countrymen, and my endorsement of this fine, capable man will draw to a close, but allow me to say this. Matsukade Shi was born and will likely die in this town. His love for the city knows no bounds. That is why he has grave concerns about the rapidly aging... Society that awaits beyond our low birth rate problem. His solution is the third pillar of his platform. This is what he pledges. To raise the child tax benefit. To attract the adult entertainment business. <laughs> to raise the child tax benefit. By providing direct support to families, more people will be encouraged to raise children. Doing so, however, will result in a greater burden on households without children. That said, when we look to the future, we cannot try to please everyone. The fact of the matter is, our children represent the very future of our city. I could sure use a bigger payout for the kids. Only families with children will benefit. Didn't they try this before? 
Your concerns are completely justified. I am a bachelor. If this policy were to be enacted, I would face a bigger tax bill. But now of all times, don't you agree that there needs to be an investment in our future, our children's future? The best way to make that happen is to put down Shozu Matsukane on those ballots. I know you'll make the right decision. In closing, uh, in closing, I ask you to take a look around you. If you feel like making Kine Icho, no, all of Nagoya a better place, then please vote Shozu Matsukane on election day. This concludes my talk. Thank you all for your time and consideration. Don't forget to vote, my friends. Sow a seed into the future. Conservative values? I don't know. <laughs> it's fictional, but some of that stuff I was like, hmm, I don't know, bro. Huh? Goodness, look at all these people. Keep at it. <laughs> you got my vote. See you at Shark Choco sometime. If your ramen's as good as your campaign, then I'm sold. <laughs> Do your best. You did it, Tachan. You made this a huge success. <laughs> I sure did, didn't I? Guess anything's worth a try. Your endorsement speech was truly magnificent. There's some hidden talent you have. Ah, oh, you're too kind. Now, you're just inflating my ego. It's no flattery. That's some gift of persuasion you have there. I am truly, truly in your debt. Unfortunately, I'm on a campaign now, so I can't legally offer you any reward. Oh, I feel terrible about it, but... Ah, oh, no worries, man. I'm just glad I could help out. I like to feel the trickle on my head. Hmm? Hey, boss. I'm sorry I'm so late. Looks like someone beat me to the endorsement speech. I wanted to go first. Huh? What's with all these people? Oh, hi, those are all these people. Everyone, you guys actually came to support me? Are you kidding? Of course we did. You've been so good to me for years. Matsukane-san, I'm sorry for being so abrupt on the phone. It took me a while to pencil in some free time. It looks like you found someone perfect already. Wait, you don't mean me, do you? Who else? That was a better endorsement speech than I could have ever hoped for. Let me take a shot at it too. I'll try to match it just as good. And I'll put extra emphasis on how great of a manager you are. I, too, would like to speak on your behalf. Then, make that three. I guess you're not alone after all, are you? There goes my first impression. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a lucky guy. I'm going to have to dig down deep so I don't let you people down. But Tachan, you're the one who really put me back on track. Thank you. That was a very long quest. <laughs> he didn't even give him money. Well, I got a level up, but I, I, I need money. I'm broke. New to the Yakuza series. Oh, you started Zero a few days ago. Zero is great. It's like my favorite game in the series. Did you get them with the Steam sales? This one's pretty good so far. Like... A close second. Alright, going maximum body. Alright, that's that's a much better health bar. Okay, well that's done. Across the street. And usually when you get into a fight, they just drop items and it's easy to make money. Did play Lost Judgment first. I haven't touched the Judgment series yet, but I've heard it's good. Uh, I'm getting through just the mainline games at the moment, and then I'll probably touch on the others. Though I did touch, uh, Like a Dragon Ishin when it released earlier this year, like the, the remake. It was really good. Hey, hey, what brings you here, Shinada-san? Uh, you are? I work part-time at the editorial office. Don't you remember me serving you tea at the meetings? Uh, sure, if you say so. Anyway, what's the story here? Why are you scrabbling around on the floor? Well, one of the editor editors gave me some handwritten memos and told me to get them typed up and formatted. 
I was running to try and make the deadline, but I tripped and ate cement, then dumped the memos all over the place. Now I can't figure out what order they were in. Oh, tough break. So what's your plan? All it would require is looking at each page and putting them back in order. Hey, maybe you could help. Being that you're a journalist and all. Did I check out three? Heard a lot of bad things about it. Three is definitely the slowest one in the series. Um, I like the story in it, but as far as like the side quests go, they're pretty forgettable. Like, I like the story in three, but everything else, it's not as good as the rest of the series. It's, I think, the low point. Not bad, it's just like zero, Ka zero and Kawami and two. Kawami two are better. So it feels like a bit of a letdown, but I think the main reason is because three was just a remaster and not a complete remake. Um, I don't know how it would have been judged back in the day of its release, but my opinion of it was just, it was all right. Just the side stories weren't as good. Hey, I put my heart and soul into this. I didn't get hired to be some paper shuffler. But I need that heart and soul on my side. Please, won't you give me a few minutes? You know how they say there's no rest for the wicked, even worse for the poor. Hence, I'm busier than I look. Fine, fine. I know what it is you want. I'll make it worth your while. Finally. Thank you. Okay, so what are these memos of? The first is a compilation of erotic memoirs of one of our journalists. Wait. The first is a compilation of erotic memoirs one of our journalists did. Regular article stuff. The second part of a fan fiction series written by the editor himself. A fan fiction series? We have that? Oh yeah, that's his ultimate pet project. He has this crazy vision of being a famous author, so he talked the chief into letting him flex his creative writing. He gets that damn fiction piece done no matter how tight the schedule is. It's pretty disturbing how much effort he puts into it. Got it. So... If you get these in the wrong order, you're gonna never hear the end, end of it. Exactly. That's why it's a nightmare. Well, alright. Let's see those memos you fumbled. Okay. Here's what I got for the erotic memoir. What? My heart's racing in anticipation of our time together. I parry her sultry approaches. Old hands know how to savor his this delicate process. What? There's this music. Upon entering the room, we engage in some light banter. I haven't revealed that I'm a reporter, but she acts eager to please despite the hour. Or shall we disrobe and play post haste? That's all fine and good, but at this price, I prefer to achieve both physical and mental satisfaction. Alas, Nirvana awaits. What? I arrive at the parlor just before closing. In spite of this, she warmly welcomes my arrival. Okay, well the first one, clear, number one has to clearly be fan fiction. Just the, the writing of it, the style of it is just very bad erotic novel. Even number three. Okay, so four and two would be the article, and three and one seem like to be the thing. Okay, you want me to... Okay, you want me to unscramble this memoir? Let's see. Now, which order makes the most sense? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, four is definitely correct, so... My heart... I have to read this carefully. No, I don't think it's 4312. It's not 4312, that's not correct. Four one two three. Cause four two four two one three. No, it has to be... It 
It has to be four, two, one, three. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm picking that. The order is four, two, one, three. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. I knew asking an actual rider was the right decision. Ha! <laughs> you know, dude. Okay, now on to the fiction. This ought to be good. Okay, have at it. It's tasty, Toru, and a little salty. The words tumbled softly from her lips. A dark thought crossed her mind. What if her husband were to see this? Kaori hesitated, but only for a moment. What she had just swallowed only intensified her craving to gobble down more of Toru's meaty offering. What the fuck is this story? Now tell me. It tastes good, doesn't it? Toru's voice carried a steely edge. It was a command that brooked no dissent. But it didn't matter now. Brushing aside her misgivings, she greedily snatched what remained of the ch Okay, it's a chicken wing story. <laughs> it's like a sexy chicken wing story. I can get behind this. Okay, hang on. I'm just reading it. Okay, it's two, four, three, one. Two, four, three, one. Yeah, two, four, three, one. I think it's two, four, three, one. Maybe not. This is hard. I'm pretty sure it's 2431. It's, oh, okay, three is first. Wow, okay, I'm wrong. I'm glad, okay, so let's just work with the logic. One. Wow, one's somewhere in the middle. Okay. Because if we go by one, that's wrong. Okay. Three, two. Okay. It's three, two, one, four. That seems to make sense to me. I love that. I love that the phrasing of the first ones just make it sound just like it's going to stray away from the light, and then the very last, the very last snippet, it says it's a chicken wing. Oh, okay. Man, I'm so glad I ran into you. Well, I guess it was the other way around, but still, I'd be screwed if it wasn't for your help. Hey, editing's no easy task. It's definitely beyond the scope of the general public. As a fledgling in the industry, you've got your work cut out for you. So don't shame the name. Of course, I'll do my best, especially for the senpai who saved me. Now, please wait here for a moment. I need to get these typed up. Sure. Don't forget about that reward you promised. I would never be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Chicken wing. Well, I think if, if you were to, like, um nickname let's just say um your little buddy a chicken wing i would question the shape of it it's just wings are usually bent at an angle you might want to go see a doctor shinada son hey you're quick nice work kid so how about that reward Yes, thank you. I showed the chief what we did, and everything got approved. As he should. I'm a pro, you know. You've proven that, and then some. This isn't a lot, but it's all I can afford. Thank you. Oh, thank fuck. I have money. If I screwed up the pages, the editor would have ripped me a new one. I'm sure lucky we cross paths. Thanks again, Shinada-san. I'll do my best to learn from your timeless wisdom. 
Aha, good job, me. Raptor is mad at editorial skills. Okay. <laughs> Just like... I would totally read an erotic novel about chicken. I'd record it, make it an audiobook, and then just retire off the money I would make. What is this? What is he doing? What? That's not what I was trying to do, hold on. What was that guy doing? I went into the building instead. No, it's car- I can't- I would like to do the karaoke. It's just, I'm kind of broke. Something to look forward to in 2024. <laughs> no. All jokes aside, I- People keep telling me to, like, look into reading audiobooks on stream, but... Or reading books is like an audiobook thing. What has he got on his back? That's a good girl. Hold still now. Is that a chicken? Are you trying to catch it? Shh. This situation demands the utmost concentration. Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> All right, then. What the heck is a chicken doing in the middle of the city? Whoa. No! Come back! Hey, don't just stand there gawking! Help me catch my beautiful baby bird! Wait, me? That chicken, a cochin, actually, is a prized avian beast! It's- life is worth more than mine and yours put together. Look, I'll even give you a reward for helping. Sound good? Yeah, shoulda said that first. And then go forth! Run like the wind and bring my cochin to me! It heard I was into chicken erotic no oh my god. I'm actually ch chasing a chicken. <laughs> I love this series, I really do. This is this is just one of my favorite series now. Yes, I just shoulder checked the chicken. <laughs> just we could be having a pretty normal conversation, and then it just takes a sharp turn into whatever the fuck this is. Thanks, buddy! Wasn't easy, was it? This little fella's got rocket fuel coursing through its veins. Ah, uh -huh. Yeah, that bird was bizarrely quick. Ha! <laughs> but of course, this butte right here ain't your garden variety game, cock. He's a certified, bona fide coachin. Yeah, Cochin's that expensive breed for premium grade meat, right? Mmm, never had any before. No way! You're not eating this prize, hen. Don't look at my Cochin with those lustful, gre greedy eyes. Oh, and I hear the eggs are tasty as the meat. An Oyakodon bowl made with Cochin must taste like heaven. Purge those unclean thoughts from your mind. This bird is precious beyond compare. Why, eating her would be a cardinal sin. I don't know, man. Seems like a waste of a good bird to me. What's so special about this one? I'll show you. I promised you a reward for helping, right? Come with me. Oh, and the name's Ukai. What's yours? Shinara. I'm a freelance journalist specializing in, uh, how should I put this? Ever want to hit up a massage parlor? I'm the guy to ask. Oh, uh, how interesting. Nice to meet you, Shinara-san. So, where are we off to? You'll see when we get there. It's right over yonder. Here's your chicken that probably has internal breeding. Oh my god. The rabbit hole goes deeper. Behold! For you are about to witness the greatest competition of luck, pluck, and cluck ever devised. This is the Coach and Cup Classic. Coach and Cup, Cup Classic? Never heard of it. Think of it like a sanctuary for chicken enthusiasts. A place where people take the beloved cochins they've nurtured and race them against each other for prize money. It's not like... It's not, it's not unlike horse racing, really. There are some champion birds out there that have hauled in millions. Millions? As in millions of yen, seriously? Honest truth, buddy. 
That bird we just bagged, her eggs are as good as gold. Huh? Sounds like there's good money to be made. So did you come up with this coaching racing idea on your own? Yep. Not to cry about it, but it sure is something, ain't it? I used to run a chicken farm out in the countryside, see? One day I set up a track on a whim and raced us some birds. And wouldn't you know it, people got a big hoot out of it. I figured what works in the sticks has a chance to soar in Kineicho. So I gave it a try. Pretty soon the spectacle became a full-on sport. We've been getting betters and breeders in droves. The latter of which can sure make a mint. Thoroughbred race coachings are their livelihood now. Well, how about that? So, shinata son, I'll give you an up-and-coming coaching in my stable as a thanks for bringing my little chickadee home. Are you kidding? I just own I, I just own a race chicken all of a sudden. Really? You will? You have to promise you won't eat it, though. You're only getting it on the condition that you raise it as a proper racer. If you do it right, that chicken can make you a lot of money <laughs> and it can. I can't believe my way of making money with this character is going to be baseball and chicken racing. Even millions, huh? Absolutely. Talk to me if you want to enter it in a race. I'll set things up for you. Let's step outside. Unbelievable. I had no idea there were races held here. Yeah, well, this is where I spend most of my life. Ever get the urge to send a chicken flying down the track? You come talk to me. Oh, and here you go, buddy. The coaching I promised you. An intelligent looking coaching chicken. Coaching races, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. You can enter your coaching in a race by speaking to Ukai. Winning a race will net you a cash prize. The higher the race rank, the better the prize. There are four ranks in total. Newcomer, challenger, contender, and champion. To win higher ranked races, your coaching will need training. Aim for the top of the champion class. Oh, we are we are one hundred percent doing this. <laughs> will you be participating in the coaching cup classic? Oh, hey, if it isn't Shinada son, my chicken ray chasing comrade. Hmm, you still haven't named the coaching I gave you. Oh, right. That's a living creature. I guess it does need a name. Yeah, he'll need a proper name in order to register for the races. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that right now? What should I call the chicken? Does someone want to name the chicken? <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that's... I might call it hot and spicy. Cluck Norris, that's even better. Alright. Good job. I approve. Okay, I'll take this baby in. Tell me whenever you want to race it. Howdy. Okay. Breeding? Oh my god. You can mate your roosters with a hen and breed a brand new bird. Holy crap. Alright, let's tra train the coaching. <laughs> we can have multiple chickens. Um, Toda, I guess. Leg power. Oh. Alright. Now you might have to be a little patient. You know how to say. Alright, alright, let's see. Alright, let's enter the race. Which class are you going to enter? The newcomer class. The wind cup. Short course has no special features. Short course with dirt on it. Now let's just go with the wind cup. This is... The winner earns a thousand yen. Want to enter this race? Let's do it. Off you go then. Good luck. I mean, it's free money. If I win. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Just consi consider how much space they have dedicated for this. Crispy. Cockadoodle Doom. Wingman. And Chuck Norris. A uh, Cluck Norris, my apologies. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love how there's a button to egg them on. Egg on! Egg on! Come on! Came second. That's not bad. I think we need more training. I'm gonna train. Stamina. Night vision? What the fuck? <laughs> Night vision. <laughs> This is so bizarre. What is view parameters? Let's try another one. The chicken cup. I want to see where where it shines. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this is not a rabbit hole I was expecting to go down. The devourer. Yes! <laughs> Get him! <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> no! Oh no! He was too tired at the end. I'm doing that again. I can win. <laughs> I shouldn't have like egged him on that much. Come on, I can I can win that cup. I can win that cup. It does have to be less greedy. <laughs> These names are great. Well, we got a name that fits in with the theme, so. Damn it. I just got a thought of another one. Bad Mother Clucker. If we get a second chicken, I'm calling it Bad Mother Clucker. Oh, damn. Okay. Why did it stop? No! Oh, second again! <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm just doomed to get second place. I think that it's pretty good at the dirt tracks. We're gonna win one. We're going for the Drake Cup. This one has a lot of dirt, so let's just not intervene. Drumstick. The Scrambler. 
starting line. That's that's a suck sucky name. Starting line. Okay, no more egging on. It's gonna run out of stamina. Let's just let it be. Let it be. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> that one was so close. This is how they get- I know. I know, this is how they get you. On the, on the plus side, it doesn't cost anything to enter. Yeah, I think it does need more training. I'm trying to brute force it. But the thing is, in order to train, I need money. <laughs> I'm broke. Cocker Doodle Doom. Teriyaki. Get out of his starting line. Okay, that'll do. Yes! No, come on. Okay, go. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I thought I was doing five seconds again. I keep losing. The leg power is probably dirt. We're not skipping leg day. I'll give him lighter oil. I still need to take the fish. Alright, let's try now. We have a little more leg power. I'm going for the chicken cup again. <laughs> so dumb. But I love it. Big Papa. Speedy Joe. Bullet. Did it say loser? Oh, I think it did. Because I've been losing a lot. Because <laughs> I've been losing a lot. Go! No, come on, 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 come on. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> Who's the loser now, motherfucker? I now earn Trooper as a title. All right, now I'm a Trooper. Okay, let's just leave, let's just leave this for a minute because I could be there all night. I really could. You know, when I saw that guy in the corner, uh, if you were to give me a thousand guesses as to what was about to happen, and say if I guessed correctly I'd get a million dollars, I would never be able to guess it. That I would chase a chicken across the city, and then find this underground chicken racing league. 
and then be given a chicken to start a career in chicken racing. Hey, Tachan, good timing, man. I got a nifty little proposition for you. Oh, uh, what, what is it? I met this fellow at a bar, said he's the president of a small company and he's looking to hire a secretary. The job calls for a single guy in his 30s with a brawny build and cheerful personality, and I instantly thought of you. I can understand the cheerful personality part, but why would he want a secretary with a brawny build? Who knows, maybe you're supposed to be a bodyguard as well? He said he needs to see a resume and there'll be an interview just as a formality. But apparently he can offer a pretty competitive salary. I also told him you work in the nightlife industry, but he doesn't see it as a problem. To me, it's a sweet deal. Aren't you always saying how you're up to your neck in debt? Couldn't hurt to at least check it out. Hmm. Is this a full employee position with all the juicy benefits? That's what he said. You'd be making good money on a steady basis. Doesn't get much better than that. It's not a very big company, but they are a legit business. Nothing shady about them. Why would the president of a legit business need a bodyguard? I just said bodyguard as a guess. Anyway, I can get you in touch with him if you want. It might not be a bad deal. What should I do? Take the interview. Well, all right. So I guess I could give it a shot. How do I go about getting this interview again? Okay, so you need to prepare a resume first. I have a few forms that our girls use. You can fill out one of those. Ah. Name, address, age, education, employment history. Uh, what else? Alright, my motives for wanting to join the company are... What does this company do? He said they're in food processing. Food processing? I don't know squat about that. I'll just have to wing it. I sw I'm sorry, it's just... If this ends up as like another chicken thing, I swear. This is gonna be the fourth chicken-related thing tonight, if that's the case. What reason should I give him for applying? I was attracted... I've dreamed of working in fruit... food processing. Drawn by the company style. Um, I mean, that. I was attracted by the president's reputation, but you never even met the guy. He was so full of it. That's why I used the word reputation. I suppose that's true. Okay, next. Hobbies and skills. I don't need to BS on this one. So, what to write? I knock balls out of the park. I like to get my balls rubbed. I got balls of steel. <laughs> None of these are good. I guess the first one. Knocking balls out of the park, yo. I'm a home running... Home run hammering machine. That's a stretch. All you do is spend your time at the batting center and you don't even play on a team. Is that even good enough? Good enough? This is a proper skill as far as I'm concerned. If you say so. The, the, the resume is good as gold. Nice. Then let's get you over to the interview. You mean like right now? They're only looking for one you hire. You wouldn't want someone else to beat you to the punch, would you? I'll let the president know you're coming. Oh, and good luck. If you get the job, come back with your first paycheck. To celebrate, we'll hook you up with our super steamy VIP special. Ah, uh, you'd do that for little old me. You sure know how to murder that guy. Okay, I'll head over there right now. Seems legit. Who are these big fellas behind the president? Are they the bodyguards? Makes me wonder if this is really legit. Alright, Shinada. I am Igashiro. I'm the president of this here company, so without further ado, what do you say we get to Shandaro? My voice for this guy is amazing. I don't know how I'm doing. I'm like kind of impersonating an old friend. He used to, uh, well, acquaintance friend. He was a friend. He used to do cl promoting for, uh, for clubs, and he would always just try to get people to go out. But it was so dumb, it's just, you, he would, there, these places would have a list, and then when you got, when you got to the front of the line, you just said, oh, hey, I'm on so-and-so's list, and then 
they'd give you like a small discount. It was usually only a couple of dollars. So it wasn't really that worth it, but they always made a big deal out of it and they were super competitive with one another. That he'd be like, hey man, you're coming out this Friday. Okay, here's what you do. When you get to the door, you tell them Dave sent you, okay? You get yourself $2 off entry and then you take the $2 and you get yourself a drink at a discounted price. But only if you say Dave's list, yeah? Okay. Bring girls, yeah? You bring girls, you get it $2 each. You take that money together, you buy her a drink, you get a good time. All right, thank you so much. Come out this weekend, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Dave's list. Ever everyone had a fucking list at one point. It's just anyway. All right, Shinada. I'm Igashira. I and I'm the president of this here company. So without further ado, what do you say we got the show on the road? Yes, sir. Good. Now I see you're recommended by the manager of Strawberry. I don't expect any preferential treatment. This is going to be an impartial hiring process. Oh, of course. What the heck? I thought this interview was supposed to be a formality. But I must say, you did send us quite the beefcake. As far as brawny builds go, you're our number one candidate so far. You look exceptionally capable of doing our sort of work. Oh, uh, thank you. Yes, well, let's start with your reason for wanting to join our company. I was attracted by the president's reputation. You heard of me through Strawberries Manager, eh? So what might my reputation be? Uh, not the start I was open for. I don't know anything about his reputation, but I need to ride this out. Well, what have you heard about me? Ah, oh, you're a noble and dignified employee who goes deeply for his workers. Oh. Ha <laughs> I see. Well, I certainly do recognize that quality in myself, if I may be allowed to boast. If that really is your motive to seek work under me, I couldn't be more pleased. Bingo. That was the right answer. You go for their ego, they hire you right away. <laughs> I value each one of our workers like a priceless sculpture, treasures to be cherished and admired. I dedicate my life to keeping them safe at my bosom. Perhaps you could join them. I'd be honored to, sir. Didn't expect things to go this good. Guess it never hurts to try. Now, Shinada, I know you're from Tokyo, but I see you've lived in Nagoya for quite a long time. Have you always been a nightlife journalist? Well, yes, I've managed to scrape bars so far. Indeed, I imagine your income might be unsteady, stringing along one writing gig to the next. Seems like it could be quite rough. Perhaps you're ready to move on from that? Says, With all due respect, I take pride in my work, and I try to live life without regretting the paths I've walked. Well, now that takes a lot of heart to say. I like the cut of your jib, son. You've got spunk, much more than I originally thought. Strawberry's manager must have sent you to me because he saw that quality in you. I need to thank him for that. I need to thank him too. It's because of him that I got to meet you, sir. <laughs> you don't miss a beat. You sure know how to please an old man. Oh no, I'm not that pleasing. We get home, baby. The job's as good as mine. Huh? What is on this resume? Hmm? What you write under your... Hobbies and skills is quite intriguing. It is? It says, and I quote, knocking balls out of the park. I'm a home run hammering machine. Would you care to elaborate? Ah, oh, that's just baseball talk. I train regularly at the batting center, see? You go to the batting center, you get to the door, you tell them Dave sent you, yeah? He'll hook you up with $2 off entry, yeah? Free game on your fifth attempt, all right? Only if you use Dave's list. Hmm, you certainly do have an impressive build. What with those finely toned arms and broad muscular shoulders. I'm sure they'll serve you well at this position. Oh, that, is that right? May I ask you a question? I know you're looking for a secretary, but is there any manual labor aspect to this job? I intend to explain the latter. Why? Are you worried over what this job entails?
Honestly, I'm a little concerned whether I measure up to the job or not. Let me do the measuring here. I assume that by virtue of you being here, you already trust my judgement. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to doubt you, sir. That said... Is this really a secretary job? Now, as you can probably guess, I found this company and I make all the decisions. I handle the hiring process by myself, I interview all the candidates, and I alone make the call whether to hire or not. With this kind of organizational structure, I absolutely abs wait, I expect absolute loyalty from my workers. It's a relationship like that of a father and his sons. Oh. Let me ask you this, Shinada. Can you obey me like you would your father? Are you mentally, physically, emotionally prepared to do my every bidding, no matter how excruciating? Oh, this sounds like the Yakuza. Is this company a front for mobsters? This could be your last chance to turn back. Well, can you swear total subservience to me? This is concerning. Nah. I can't swear to that. I see. But think carefully about this opportunity. I'll give you another chance. Will you swear total subservience to me? No. This red flag. I can't swear to that. I see. But think carefully about the opportunity. I'll give you... <laughs> oh no. I can't do that, I'm sorry. I can't swear to that. I see. But think carefully about this opportunity. I'll give you another chance, Shinada. Will you swear so to that? Alright, do it. Yeah, that's I slide to it. Excellent. That took courage then. Shinada, allow me to congratulate like you. Welcome to our corporate family. Ah, huh? Just like that. I told you I make the decisions. If I say go, there's no one to say no. My decision is final. Oh, and don't worry about the salary. I can assure you we're far more generous than Nightlife magazine. Our pockets run deep for a reason. There is at least something feels off about this. Alright, Shinada. You're my secretary right now. Let's get you started right away. Uh, okay. What should I do? <laughs> Come with me and see for yourself. It's clearly a bug. What on earth is going on here? Oh, you know. Just another day in the office. You'll get used to it. Get used to my boss wearing nothing but a loincloth? Fat chance. Oh, don't get your fundoshi in a bunch. Now strip, Shinada. You swore total subservience, remember? Like a son to his father? So come on over to daddy. You don't need to be shy. So this is what you were planning. Don't you find it wrong to just spring this me... Do you want to spring this on me out of nowhere? I believe me, I do. In fact, that's the thrill of it. The mere thought of how bizarre the situation is makes my heart throb, amongst other things. Now savor it, Shinada. Breathe it all in. I've been waiting for this moment since the first time I laid eyes on you. And what a feast you are. So, so that interview was just all for show? We'd have ended up here either way. That's right, Shinada. And now it's time for you to end up on my lap. Do as you're told, my son, or daddy's gonna have to spank you. No one's spanking anyone today. You can forget about the roleplay here. I'm going home. Ha <laughs> ha. You just keep getting better and better. I knew I had you pegged as the perfect wayward son. Father knows best after all. Oh, God. I can see. You have a wild streak that requires a bit of discipline. But as your father, I hate to do this, but you'll thank me for it in the end. Get ready for some tough love. What the hell is with this company? Do all your employees get initiated like this? You know what? I don't even care. Let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, he means fighting, not stripping. Okay, good. <laughs> what the fuck is this music? <laughs> I was not ready for today. Oh, 
Well, I guess they, they were in processing meat. He wasn't lying. You're not even surprised by this outcome. You've watched me play this game enough that, yeah, this shouldn't surprise you. The, the only thing missing in this scene was just the chicken coming out in a business suit. I love the music. Get up! Ah, <laughs> uh, you're a rebellious lad, all right? Oh, no wonder you caught my eye. You're welcome back here if you ever change your mind, Shinata-kun. Not happening. Okay, then. Here's your severance pay. I trust you'll keep this dark secrets between us, like any good father and son. Oh, good. This will- oh, thank you. <laughs> Jeez, so much for trying to change careers. Alright, who wants to go get a happy ending? Not- not from this place. <laughs> I'm referring to the other side quest. The other side quest. You know, if you call a chicken a cock... <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna make the... I'm not gonna make the joke. <laughs> I was gonna say, that technically was a fourth chicken quest. <laughs> oh, shit. What's wrong with me? Alright. All these chapters have been great. Alright, here we are. Oh, no. Hello, and welcome to the Cheeky Chestnut, the hottest, most happening massage parlor in all of Kineetra. For a little stress relief now, there's always a happy ending later. For an incredibly low fixed price of 4,500 yen, our girls go the distance for no extra pay. That's my personal guarantee. Alright. Say no more, my good man. I will avail myself of your services. Ah, yes indeed. Avail away, kind sir. Booking for one, right this way. Yeah, you get what you pay for, room-wise. I hope the girl's at least possible. Woohoo, here she comes. Yep, come on in. Hey, sweetheart, I'm Yuka. Ugh. This old skeleton's in a dress. She's the spitting image of Uno-san. It's so cold out today, isn't it? Why don't you come a little closer and let me warm you up? Ah, uh, well, I'm sorry to have to say this, but... But what, are you trying to say you want a different girl? Yeah, I'm really sorry. It's just that you look so much like a friend of mine. It'd be awkward to take things any further. Huh. The absolute nerve of you. You're hardly a looker yourself. That might be true, but there's no way I can get down with you. No offense, Uno-san. How dare you treat me like this? And who is this Uno-san you speak of? You know what? I want nothing to do with you either. Yikes. Is this place even legit? Maybe it was too good to be true. Please let it be a cutie coming through that door. Come on in, baby girl. Oh god. Hey, big sexy, I'm Rumi. I'm gonna rock your world. Ugh. Another bony old grandma. This time, it's Coach Fujita. <laughs> you must be all wound up from waiting. I bet you can't wait for me to work my fingers around those achy muscles. Well, uh, about that. Huh? Are you seriously going to ask for a different girl? Again? Hold on. <laughs> my phone... My phone... Turned on. When I say seriously, um... I'll turn my phone upside down, but Siri thinks that I'm talking to her. 
There's been so many times where I've been playing this series and she just interjects. So I'm worried that I'm going to say something like, seriously, you want me to look up like hardcore adult porn with cock and then Siri's just going to look that up and I'm going to have that on my phone's history. So we worry about that. Listen, it could happen, okay? You better smarten up. Did you come here to waste our time? No, I'm sorry. It's just that your face reminds me of someone I regard as a parent. Siri popped up when you were playing earlier and you were like, what the fuck, no. <laughs> it happens a lot when you play the series. Don't insult me like that. Even if I were old enough to have a son your age, he wouldn't be as ugly as you. I think you might have misunderstood me. Don't try playing dumb. You must think I'm some kind of fool, don't you? That's it, I'm calling one of the staff. Huh? Listen, you can only ask to change girls once. Quit screwing around and choose one or the other. Choose between Uno-san or Coach? You gotta be kidding me. It's Yuka-san and Rumi-chan. Don't give them weird nicknames. <laughs> and Coach. <laughs> That's so rude, man. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry, but if these are my only options, I'm out. I'm leaving and I'd like my money back. You didn't think you could just walk out of here scot-free, asshole. Now it's either Yuka-chan or Rumi-chan. Choose! I choose neither. I just can't do this. Enough of your bullshit, man. Your health and well-being depend on your answer here. Choose one right now! Choose, he says. But between Uno-san or Coach Fujita, either option is kind of horrific. <laughs> We're going with the coach. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll take the coach. Who the hell is the coach? <laughs> oh, sorry, this is killing me. Do you mean Rumi-chan? Ah, uh, yes, yes. I choose Rumi-chan. Oh, uh, all right. All right, I'm not even into this de degenerate mess of a man, but a job's a job. I want this even less than you, Hag. You better not cause me any more headaches, so simmer down and enjoy your happy ending, you goddamn jackass. Right. What? Oh, man. Okay, we're doing this. Maybe a little kiss would help sweeten up the mood. Is your mouth clean? It... it is? It better be, or else. Anyway, hope you like tongue, sweet cheeks. <laughs> I could have chosen run. Nah. Look at him, he's so happy. Why would I run from that? <laughs> it was for the XP, yeah. Think of the experience. Hey, is everything cool? You look kind of down. I can tell even with that mask on. Oh, hi, Tachan. Yeah, we got shoplifter trouble. Some punk decided to use us as his personal pantry. He's been sneaking off with things like soda and snacks, even dirty magazines, and gets away with it every single time. Ah, sounds annoying. There sure are a lot of troublemakers out there. Speaking of trouble, guys like you shamelessly asking for expired bento boxes are about as much of a nuisance. There's you, you never give me any anyway, even when I ask nicely. <laughs> what do you expect? This isn't a soup kitchen. Besides, if I did give expired food away, who knows how many other freeloaders would catch on. There'd be no end to it. Sheesh, this is what I get for asking how you're doing. Ah, no, I didn't mean to blow up at you. I'm just stressed because of that stupid shoplifter. Yeah, but with the way you're circling around your store like a hawk, customers will be too scared to come in. Unfortunately, right now, all our customers look like crooks to me. I know. Touch on, would you... How would you like to take home and expired bento today. Huh? Really? Why the sudden change of heart? I was hoping I could get you to work here in return. Just for a while? Huh? Work? Like, uh, you want me to man the counter? Yep, and if you can, I'd like you to catch our shoplifter. Oh, now I get it. 
I just thought you looked like you could handle yourself in a fight. Besides, you're not all that busy, are you? What? I look like I'm always loitering around to you? That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, you have a point. I'm serious, though. I'm really in a bind here, and I could use all the help I can get. Even if the shoplifter doesn't show, I'll pay you for the time you work. And that's on top of the bento. They want me to be a convenient stock clerk. Uh, it's not a bad deal. What with the pay and the lunch? What do you say, Tachan? Can you do it? Alright. So, I'll give it a shot. Oh yeah. You're the man. Can you hop on the register right away? I've never worked in a convenience store before. Are you sure this will be okay? I'll back you up if you run into any trouble. It shouldn't be too bad. You just need to think on your feet. For instance, if someone's buying a bento, you need to give them chopsticks or a fork. You need to observe and think about what the customer needs and respond quickly and appropriately. Let's give it a try. Say I were to buy one of these, what does this item need? It's a juice carton, so the customer would need chopsticks. <laughs> Too slow, Tachan. You need to decide more quickly. Oh, okay. Dang. I had to be faster than I thought and stop trying to make jokes to make the audience laugh. Okay, no worries. A straw is the right choice here, but you'll have to make a complicated decision like this every time. I know, it can be very taxing on the mind. But if you can't even figure out their basic convenience store needs, they'll get really pissy with you. So staying on your toes is a must. Okay, damn. This sounds kind of challenging. Don't worry. I'm going to be on the floor keeping an eye out for the shoplifter. If I spot him, I'll give you a holler. Alright, Tachan. I think that about sums it up. I'll be counting on you. Okay, I need to focus on manning the counter. Hello. My first customer already. What's he buying? I'll take this. Pasta? What did I ask him for? Should I microwave this for you? Yes, please. Oh yeah, this is easy. Just need to keep it up. Oh, hang on. Pasta's not a finger food. So the customer needs... I'll put a fork in the bag. Aha. Uh -huh. Please do. Good. Got it right. So, how much? Uh, it's 382 yen. Okay. Crap, I don't have enough change. Here you go. 10,002 yen. Your change will be 9,620 yen. Oh, hey. Sorry. I actually got 80 yen here. Huh? I'm saying I'll give you 80 yen more, so give me the change from that. Huh? So that means- oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention, now. How long does it take for you to do a simple calculation? Give me the 10,000. Oh, sorry, here's your change. 10,300 yen. Nah. Okay, thanks. It's like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> Leave me alone. Thank you. Ah, did I get that calculation right? For pasta costing 382 yen, he gave me 10,000 too, then 80 more. So that's 10,000... <sighs> Damn it. He gunned me. I was right. Oh no. I gave the customer too much change. Oh. Yeah, rookies are prone to do that. Don't bust a vein over it. Oh, yeah, that's a big relief. Yeah, we just take the difference out of your pay. Seriously? Greetings, sir. Grandpa this time. What's he got? May I have this, please? What is it? A curry bento. So, should I ask him... That one. Should I warm this up, sir? Ah, yes, please. Hey. I'll put the spoon in the bag, too. A kind of you. Thank you so much. Oh, no thanks necessary, sir. Happy to do my job. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Guess it's not so bad after all. I'm just playing the character correctly. He's into sports, doesn't know math. 
Oh, uh, I'll also take a steam bun, please. One steam bun, okay. And some bean paste buns. I'll take three. Uh, okay. Oh, and some pizza buns. Two, please. Oh, and cancel one of the bean paste buns. That will do. Ah, so how many... Uh, that one. So your order is one steam, two bean, and two pizza buns. Yes, yes. Good job remembering all that. Well done. Oh, no, no, sir. It's nothing special. It's my job after all. Ah, guess I got that right. By the way, do you carry postage stamps? Postage stamps, uh... Tachan, we have those. We have two kinds, 50 and 80 yen. Oh, okay. Got it. Very well. May I have 390 yen worth of stamps? Um... Okay. 50 and 80. Man, it's really making me do this, huh? I'm just trying to think like the closest I can get to it. Because six would give, six and one would get to 380. How do you get to 390? Can I even get to 390? I don't think I can. This is number... Twenty-five, one sixty. <laughs> Fuck it. It. You know what I don't like about some of these is it. It really. It gives you like three seconds to read all the options. I imagine this is just a problem. Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm trying to like pause it. Hmm? <laughs> Um, this is so annoying. <laughs> Fifteen. It's this one. Hey. It was the same with the uh, the the comedian bit. Where it just, it gave me like one second to read the response I had to give as a, as a comedy duo. It sucked. Hello and welcome. Oh, this lady's pretty cute. Is she an office worker? What's she gonna buy? Um, just this. What is that? Air freshener? Well, that's a pair of panties. I didn't know convenience stores sold these. So... The thing I should be asking for this is nothing in particular. <laughs> You're not wearing underwear now. Do I need to warm these up for you? What would you need to say to someone buying underwear? I can't think of anything in particular. Um, excuse me? Is something wrong? Oh, no, nothing at all. Sorry. It's just that today is my first day. Oh, is that right? Then good luck. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Oh, wow. Haha, <laughs> thank you very much. Wow, what a nice lady. Boy, am I glad I didn't say anything stupid. Oh, and may I also have some cigarettes? Hey. Cigarettes, certainly. One pack? Yes. Cigarettes, huh? Oh, before I can sell these, I have to confirm one thing. May I check your tattoos, please? <laughs> Imagine that. Excuse me, but may I check your age, please? Oh, yes. That's right. Will my driver's license do? Yes, of course. Hey, I'm starting to get the hang of this, after all. So how much do I owe you? Uh, your total comes to 1,127. I don't have anything small. Oh, but I do have 7 yen in change. Ten. Oh god, I hate this. 8-8-8-8-0. Oh, I'm sorry, I found 20 more yen. Of course you did. Not again, these things are getting complicated. Okay, for the sale... I hate this, because it just makes, like, 9,800. Thank you. Oh, I don't need a bag. I have my handbag. Great. Thank you for shopping with us. Huh? Oh, my God. Shut up. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just being generous, okay? Ah, what was that? 
The shoplifter, it's him. Touch on, chase him down quickly. It's finally rid his ugly thieving head. Okay, I'm on it. I did not play this game to, to do some math. Not at 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> I came here to eat chicken, race chickens, breed chickens. And certainly not to do anything with a businessman that works in processed meats. Oh, and read erotic chicken novels. Way to go, Tachan. We finally got rid of that conniving kleptomaniac. Ah, that was the easy part. Working behind the register was way harder. I know what you mean. You always have to be thinking ahead, crunching numbers, anticipating all kinds of problems. A lot's expected out of you for such little pay. Right, that's only 700 yen an hour. At least it's steadier work than my writing gig. Wow, you freelance writers don't have it easy either, huh? Well, here's your pay. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I can... Well, it seems like you had some issue behind the counter, but nothing too major. Today I learned I'm not really cut out for working at a convenience store. I had a reward for catching that crook in your payment, too. Oh, and don't forget your bento. Expired lunch set. Alright, thanks. I really needed this. Hey, but this is a one-time deal, okay? Don't get your head... Don't get it into your head that you can keep coming back for more. Ah, you had to go say that. Anyway, you really came through today. Thanks a bunch, Tachan. Yeah, I mean, what's the thing? Food wastage is kind of crazy. The amount these places throw out and they don't just, well, give it away to people. Like stuff that they know they're realistically never gonna sell in time, they just let it go to waste. Well, it has been a lot of side quests today. They've all been pretty fun, to be honest. This chapter's been better than Saijima's chapter. I guess, I guess because they introduced a new character, they kind of had to make his side quests just that much enjoyable, just so, you know, I guess you want him to return in future games. Uh, Tachan, you know you can't run the tab up here. Gotta pay to play. Ah, yeah, you got me. But what's with the little lady? Sounds like you folks were arguing. Yeah, she was asking to work at our place. So far, so good, right? Problem is, she's 17. Oh, no, I can't imagine the law would look uh, unkindly on having a kid in there, not to mention anyone decent. Fine. Sorry I bothered you. Everything okay with her? She said her old man's deep in debt. So, she tried to apply with us. Hope she knows what kind of rabbit hole this industry is. I see. But since you turned her down, wouldn't she just try to apply at some other sleaze pit? No offense, by the way. Yeah. Oh, none taken. But yeah, she's still a minor until she hits 18. Nobody sane would hire her. Not a legit establishment, anyway. I hope no one shady finds out about this. I'm concerned about that myself, Tachan. You got nothing better going on, right? Can you keep an eye out for her? She went running in the direction of the free info booth. Tell her we'll be happy to take her in, but only when she's of legal age. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, that's her. Just trying to get a job at the Hawaiian pub. Hmm? Is something the matter? Yeah, kind of. You were asking for a job at the Hawaiian pub, right? Oh. Are they going to hire me? No, not by a long shot. The manager and I were curious as to why a girl 
Sayang wants a job so sleazy. Yeah. I don't need just sympathy, you know. We don't even know each other. I mean, yeah, that's true, but I heard this is all to clear your father's debt. What would make you go this far? It's because we I've been such a burden on my dad. If I can just get through this, I can finally stop being one. If I don't, my dad's my dad'll be locked up locked into debt for decades, but by doing this, the loan will be paid in just a year. Uh, if I were your dad, I would never let you do it. In fact, I'd rather work myself to death paying off that debt. Better than letting my daughter sell herself. Yeah. Well, it's not like I'm gonna tell him. You see, my dad fell into financial ruin paying for my medical treatments, which I need to stay alive. Okay, so you think you're prepared to do whatever it takes, but do you really want to know what it means to work in adult entertainment? Sorry, the sex industry? I did my due diligence and research as much as I could. I think I know what to expect. You did what kind of research? Looking up porn online? Well, at least that's how I do research. See, if I said if I said seriously there, Siri would think... Siri would have said, what's that? You want to look up porn online? I'm not, I'm not being paranoid. It, it, it can happen. What are you trying to say here? I actually work in the sex industry. I'm a journalist, so I've gotten to know a few ladies in the business. And you're the first one I've met who's trying to go in with such a naive motive. Pardon? Look, there are a lot of girls who start doing this on a whim, but most of them take the plunge only because they literally have no option. And when you hear stuff about sex workers claiming they like the job, that they're making money while having fun, that is a select few. Most of them don't have that luxury. If lines like that are oh, what brought you to the doorstep of this dark world, well, I'm sorry, but you're only gonna regret it. And by then, you'll have lost so much. But I have to do this. I want to make life easier for my dad. Your father assumed the debt and the stress that came with it, so it could save your life. If you go and do this, won't you have wasted his effort? Knowing that, can you honestly claim you want to work in this crazy business? I know my words don't carry much weight, but doing what I do... But you should have more respect for yourself. You're a kid. You have no idea what you're getting into. Huh? Hey! You done with your self-help seminar, asshole? Step away from the merchandise! And who might you be? That's my line. Who are you to little Misa-chan here? Oh, I get it. You're the bill collectors. You're seriously trying to get this kid to pay her father's debt by selling her innocence? Fuck yeah, dude! Misa-chan, sweetie, did you pick a nice parlor yet? I was turned down when I told him I'm 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured that'd happen. So I found you another job. It's a bit rougher than being on house call, but it pays a lot more. What the hell are you thinking, man? What are you trying to make her do? Huh? You stay out of this. She's nobody to you, or are you offering to cover her debt? Eh. Yeah. It's okay. I know I'll be all right. No, don't do it. You still haven't crossed that line. Goodbye. Atta girl. Misa-chan. Ah, what's the hold up, Misa-chan? Let's go. Sorry, I just... Hey, Misa. You're paying off daddy's debt, right? It's too late to back out now. Hurry up and move your ass. Misa-chan. Like he said, I'm nobody to you. I have no reason to be meddling in your affairs. <laughs> yeah, you're goddamn right. That's why I need you to say one thing. That's all you have to do. What do you want me to say? Two words. Help me. If you can say that, I'll do something. Show me that you want to save yourself, and I'll take care of the rest. What is this TV drama bullshit? Shut your trap or we'll shut it for you. Help. Huh? Ah! I don't want to go with these people. Please, help me. 
That took some guts to say. All right, Misa-chan. Stand back and I'll take care of these jokers. <sighs> Looks like we got a hero on our hands. Hey, boys. We're bitch slapping this dreamer back to reality. <laughs> I don't know. I just associate the mindless NPCs with just the bogan accent. I just make them all bogans. It's easy that way. Oops. Oh, damn. I mean, his fighting style is pretty weird, but it's cool. What is he doing? Oh! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> ah, stop, stop already! Sacred wood. <laughs> I was so scared. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, there's no telling what would happen if you went with them, don't you? Uh huh. My job being what it is, I won't say working in the sex industry is a bad thing, but it isn't a choice to make lightly. Ah, but who am I to talk? I'm sure my words ring pretty hollow, don't they? Yeah. No, that's not true. I I'm going to try and help my father like I've always done. Slow and steady, and definitely not shady. Yeah, uh, I think that's for the best. Sarai, I, I thank you so much. Wow, still not done, huh? Well, there's the batting. I can do the batting center missions now. Oh, it's a victory ride thing. These dudes just block constantly. Alright, he specializes in weapons. Let's see what happens with the bike. That works. Alright, get a new bike. This move is so good. Huh? Why do you guys keep picking fights with me? Ah, oh, damn it! Why can't I beat you? You seem stronger than your average street punk. Probably been in a lot of fights. Excuse me. Are you Tatsuo Shinada-san? Man, yeah. Who's asking? I help run the Victory Ride Tournament. I look forward to seeing much more of you. Huh? Victory Ride? Allow me to explain. The Victory Ride is an underground fighting contest with qualifiers concurrently held all over Japan. Uh, its sole purpose is to find the ultimate fighter in the nation. And that man you just defeated, he was in the qualifying round. Yeah, sure. Cool. What does that have to do with me? We've had our eye on you. You seem rather formidable. But be warned. From now on, other Victory Road contenders will be gunning for you. Wait, what does that have to do with me? I have never heard of your damn tournament. The winner will be granted the proud title of Ultimate Fighter. Oh, and then there's the prize money. Eh? Wait, did you just say prize money? 
Is it a lot? Defeat all the contenders here in town, and I'll see you at the finals. Can you become the ultimate fighter, Shinada-san? I haven't agreed to enter yet, you know. You'll come around. Your kind always does. Now if you'll excuse me. The victory rate qualifies. I suppose it's worth a shot, even if there is some prize money in it for me. I'm guessing that'll probably happen in the final chapter or something. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, fine, fine, fine. Weapon, please. I like his tackle. His tackle's pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah, I bet you regret your decision now, dickhead. Good, they're giving me money now. Oh, hey, excuse me. Are you Tatsuo? Ah, uh, It's me, Seto. The scout? With the wyverns? Whoa, is that really Seto-san I'm talking to? Man, the years have not been kind to you. <laughs> Boy, it's been what, over a dozen years and that's all you have to say? But it's good to see you after all this time. Likewise, you still have a scout? Or you still are a scout? Yeah, I'm on my way to see a rookie. The kid we... Picked first overall in the draft. Ah, yeah. That was Kuroshina. He was the star pitcher in, at Koshien this summer. That's him. We got lucky in the draft lottery. Kuroshina's a local boy, too. So we just need to hash out some details, and we'll get him signed. You still haven't lost your hustle. That's great. So, uh, what about you? Been hanging in there? Oh, you know me. Uh, actually, uh, I'm a journalist now. I work for an adult magazine. You could say, I have a large reputation in the industry, ah, ah. Is that right? Well, guess someone's got to write the words beside the pictures that no one ever reads. So that's what you've gotten yourself into. You've had it tough, haven't you? Ever since that game? I think I'll be going now. Uh, it was good talking to you again. Oh, and uh, you really shouldn't be seen with me, by the way. Yeah. Don't be stupid. Don't worry about that. Besides, I was just about to invite you to join me. Do you feel like meeting our star rookie? If you've got time, that is. Really? Hiroshino wanted to talk to me, so I'm off to see him. How about I treat you to a drink when we're done? Hey, if it's on you, I'd appreciate it. But are you sure it's still alright for me to tag along? I wouldn't be inviting you if it wasn't. You don't need to be shy around Hiroshino either. We don't keep secrets from each other. Don't tell me you're not curious about him. This Kirishina kid is the Wyvern's big hope. I won't deny I'm curious. Then it's decided. I assume you're coming? Yeah, let's go. That's enough or I can't turn down. I remember you used to take me out all the time when I was back on the farm. You don't drink as much as you used to, I hope. You should be getting to that age when you learn a little restraint. Ah, oh, heck no. I can still knock him back like the good old days. Besides, I still got some youth left in me. Mostly below the belt, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh, dear. There he is, Tatsuo. The kid in the school uniform. That's Kirishino. Oh, wow, that really is him. Hello, Seto-san. Thank you for coming out to see me. No problem. Until the contract's signed, you're an important negotiating partner. You're just another rookie after that, of course. This fellow here, his name is Tatsuo Shinada, and... Pardon me, Seto-san, but may I speak first? Come again? 
Oh, right. You did say you wanted to discuss something. Um, Seto-san, I'm sorry, but I decided not to sign with the Wyverns after all. What? Wait a minute here. Why all of a sudden? You said you were looking forward to becoming a Wyvern. I feel terrible about letting the Wyverns down after they drafted me first, but I've made up my mind. I'm sorry, Seto-san. But what happened? Has some other team been talking to you? Come on, tell me what it is. Look, I'm sorry, Seto-san. Your sorry doesn't even begin to suffice for an explanation. Besides, what do you intend to do? Are, are you going to put your career on hold until next year's draft? I, I can't answer that. Oh, you can't. I won't negotiate with the Wyverns anymore. I've already decided. Now, if you'll excuse me. Kirishina! What the hell just happened? Why'd he change his mind? Okay, now I want you to pay attention to the background. Look at... Look at the people... Look at the people that appear from the left and watch how far... They disappear behind... Hang on. Is it gonna happen again? Okay, hang on. Watch, watch this lady. Okay, not... That didn't look that weird, but the, when they come from the left, it looks funny. It's like an invisible curtain. Come on, one more. Ah, oh, they're only coming from the right. There we go, look. <laughs> look at the ones from the left. Okay, anyway. I don't understand. Kirishin has always wanted to join his home team. He said it was his dream. I uh, guess that dream got bolt and salt. What are you going to do now, Seto san? I can't do a damn thing if this is how he's ending negotiations with the team. What can a lowly scout do? I found Kirishina when he was still in middle school. I knew at a glance that the kid had potential, but we weren't allowed to contact him. But I kept an eye on his progress. After the draft, I finally got to meet him in person. I told him I'd be keeping track of his playing career over the years. I told him how his pitching was great in a certain game, and how unlucky he was in another. He was impressed by that. Dang. You guys have some history. Yeah, so how did it come to this? I simply cannot wrap my head around it. Only Kurashima can explain that. He went off toward mid-square. Maybe I should go after him. Alright, let's go. I do have prize tickets, so I could probably... Cash those in. Oh, there's Gorshina. Who's he got with him? Yo, Kirishina, done with your little talk? Yes, it's all over. I, I cut off negotiations with the Wyverns. You did? Great. Good going. You leave the rest up to me. Don't worry, Kirishina, you made the right choice. Signing with a lost cause like the Wyverns would only stunt your career. Ah, uh, right. What was up with that guy? Is he a scout from another team? It's time I go into stealth mode. Follow them around for a bit. Boy. Hey, dipshit! Turn the fuck around! Huh? You got a good reason for snooping around in Kurashina's affairs, huh? Oh, you see, uh... Who did you say you were? Huh? Shut up! We're the ones asking the questions, you asshole! Oh, uh, let me guess. You're working with the guy who walked off of Kurashina right now. This nosy motherfucker. You better get your ass over here. I get the impression the folks around here won't be able to stomach what's about to go down. And if I say no? Simple. We'll cave your face in on the spot. Okay. I love how... It's, he said people won't be able to stomach. They're cheering me on, man. They're out for blood.
Ah, someone call the military. Tell them we found their tank. Seriously, who is this guy? I'll be asking the questions. Yeah, who are you and who was Kurashina just... Who was with Kurashina just now? Jeez. Hell if I know. Want me to rephrase that? Which baseball club do you work for? You're trying to pry Kurashina away from the Wyverns, right? Ha! Huh. We didn't pry anyone away. He ditched the Wyverns of his own free will. Oh, sure. Bet you just wave some cash in his face. I know what you can do. You're paying him to take the year off, aren't you? That way you can sign him when he re-enters the draft next year. You know, this kind of backdoor deal caused a huge stink before. I didn't think anyone was dumb enough to still try it. So, what kind of money did you have to flash? Not just 10 or 20 million, I bet. The kid dreamed of becoming a wife, and I bet it took a whole lot of persuading. Maybe even something like a hundred million. Come on, what's your problem? Let us go already. Take me to Kurashima then. We need to chat. Or would you rather start round two of getting your asses kicked? Shit! Oh, uh, good. We got to the door. Okay, listen, we're at a door right now, so what I want you to do, I want you to go to the front counter, and I want you to say that Dave let you in, okay? Then when Dave lets you in, you get $2 off entry, you go buy yourself a drink at the bar at a discounted price, but only if you go through this door right now and you say Dave sent you. Okay, so this is where Kurashima is, yeah? Yeah. Wait, I've seen you. You're the guy who was with Seto-san. Huh? What? Sorry to butt in, but I need to have a word with Kurashina-kun. Could you maybe leave us alone for a while? Hey, what's your angle? You think you can just barge in on here and start making demands like you own, you own the damn place? Huh? You're the one who barged in. I don't know which ball club you work for, but you sure play dirty. Yeah. Nah. Don't know what you're talking about. You're a scout from some team using a bribe to tamper with a draft pick. That's not right. Who the hell are you? Let's just say I used to work with the Wyverns. Used to, huh? This doesn't concern you, then. Let's just ignore this man and go. Oh, wait, no. It's Kurashina. That's, let's just ignore this man and go. Don't worry about Kurashina. He's going to disappear. We'll see to it that you never see him again. I right, fucked this up. Ah. Huh? I have messed up the reading on this quite badly. It's okay. You'll stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Quit harassing Kurashina, unless you want to end up in the emergency room. Not really, but I still need to talk to the guy. What are you, a fucking masochist? I'm telling you to get lost before we beat your ass black, blue, and red. And whatever other colors ooze out of a broken body. Sorry, but I'm not gonna back down. And by the way, you're really gross. You really are stupid, aren't you? Amazing. Well, have it your way. Get him, boys. <laughs> oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Yeah, I'd be afraid. I'd be afraid of that too. Now it's not working as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was really well dodged. Didn't hit me whilst I did that. Damn, I didn't react quick enough. It's fine.
Sonic. Yamane san. Start to have to make you wait, Kirishima kun. There's no one to bother us now. Let's have that one on one. No, get away from me, man. Hey, all done. Oh, now I'm going to. T no. <laughs> but, like, what do you mean? If I do what I usually do, I'm going to injure this kid to the point where it ruins his baseball career. Like, what? What? Damn, he's a quick little sucker. Okay, well, I didn't tackle him once. What? <laughs> didn't stop running. Uh, forgive me, please. I never meant for any of this to happen. Ah, oh, save your breath. No need to apologize to me, Seto-san. Oh, you need to apologize to Seto-san, not me. I'm not going to wreck you over the coals for accepting a bribe from a different club. Well... It's a choice that's literally life-changing. I don't know how much they offered you, but I can understand being blinded by the cash. Are you going to tell me everyone's doing these kind of backdoor deals these days? Even so, you still have obligations. You still told Seto-san it was your dream to join the Wyverns, didn't you? You have to live up to your words. At least come clean to Seto-san and apologize. Seto-san was working hard to make your dream come true. I'd say you owe him that much. I understand. If he can forgive me, I will. <sighs> Sere-san, there's something I need to tell you. Go ahead, Hiroshina. Please forgive me, Sete-san. I fell for a bribe from another team. They promised to pay me until next year's draft and that they would double the contract amount offered by the Wyverns. That's why I, I, I can't join the Wyverns. Alright. That's what it was, after all. I'm really sorry, Sede-san. You could find it in your heart to forgive me. It's alright, Kirishina. Thanks for being honest with me. Sede-san. The path you choose is up to you. Whichever team you sign with, your talent will make you a star. I guarantee it. And believe me, I've been doing this job for a long time. But make sure you keep training hard over the course of the next year. I'm looking forward to seeing you play once you're in the pros. I know you can do it. You're not any ordinary rookie, got it? Have confidence in yourself. Why, why though? Seto-san, why do you care so much about me? Isn't it obvious because I see your potential? Have been ever since you were in middle school. Someday soon, your pitching is going to pack stadiums and drive fans wild. I was the first to see that in you before anyone else. I don't care if this isn't with if it isn't with the Wyverns, as a lifelong fan of baseball, I look forward to seeing you shine. I still do. So, keep moving forward. I'll never stop being your fan. Thanks for waiting, Tatsuo. Well, I promised you a drink, didn't I? Uh, you sure we're done here? Yeah, should be. Alright, then I'll be happy to oblige. Take care, Kirishina. Go home before your joints feel the cold. Take good care of yourself is part of the job as a pro. Wait! God, I must sound so stupid, but I was wrong. There's no way I can give up on the dream you shared with me. I know I'm asking a lot after I, all I did, but may I join the Wyverns? Kirishina, look. I'm asking you, please, give me a second chance. I'll do anything to join, to make up for the trouble I cause. Yes, I may be stupid and immature, but I know I can make the Wyverns proud. That'd be... That I... That, 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 that. <laughs> My reading's going to shit. That I'd be right for the team, because you're there to support me. Ah, oh, would you look at that. I've always known you were a fine judge of character, said I, son. Flattery would not get you nowhere with me, Tatsuo. Don't I know it. Looks like I'll be taking a rain check on that drink tonight. I assume you're going to be busy. 
Yeah, I have to get the official contract written up to sign this can't miss rookie. Really? You're still gonna sign me? Christina, I can only be this nice to you before you sign. Once you're ours, we'll kick your ass like any other rookie. Yes, sir. And thank you, I promise not to let you down. Ah, uh, me turning down a free night out. Never thought I'd see the day. Really? <laughs> they were right there waiting. Alright, fine. Can't you see I just had a heartfelt moment? Oops, I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Oh! It's a crotch punch. I got salt. What? What are these items I'm getting? Salt? Salt. Oh, there's still another mission here. Man, this is a pretty uh, full on chapter. Apparently there's something all right, at the very end of this path. But then all that's left, hopefully, is the uh, the batting missions. A drunk guy. Hey, let's battle it out for the victory, right? Well, hold up, you're totally hammered. Are you one of those drunken masters? Stop, ah, I'm an ex-wrestler, better watch your mouth. Okay. Oh, this is going to be over very quickly. Man, that, that tackle is something else. <laughs> it's pretty good. so... <laughs> I can't be a clown like this. Yeah, we are calling a clown. You should take a look at yourself first. Shut up! You don't seem like much now. You're looking at like right, Kenichi Oshino. I have no idea who that is. Damn amateur, they called me. A rising star back in my pro wrestling days, I had a bright future ahead of me. Then, right after I made my debut, an opponent pulled an illegal move on me and put me in the hospital. That was the end of my career. Uh, sounds like a familiar story. Are you telling me that's why you turned to the bottle? Of course it is. Got to make it through this life saver, that's for sure. Ah, I'm done. <laughs> Once you fall, there's no going back. No second chances and losers in this world. <laughs> I got the feeling you know what I'm talking about. Huh? No point in wasting time struggling. Join me and give up on life right now. I'm not like you. Huh? That's because you had a setback doesn't give you the right to get drunk and try to drag others down. Not everyone gives up that easily. Why you? 
A guy like you would have ended up like this, even if you had gotten hadn't gotten injured. What? This is all the fault of that guy who broke the rules. There you go. Placing the blame on others. Have you actually ever made an effort yourself and tried to change your life? What's your name anyway? It's Shinada. Tatsuo Shinada. I've had about all the lip I could take from you, Shinada. I'm gonna show you what happens when I play for keeps, got it? Okay. Uh-oh, he looked pretty damn serious at the end there. Man, this is gonna suck. Ugh, oh, there we go. Clean. That was a lot of sub-stories. The good news is I'm not poor anymore. Wait, what? I see... A lottery ticket flashing there, though. Oh, there was an invisible wall here. That was weird. Or prize ticket, whatever you call it. Okay, just checking. Maybe there was one in the corner. Just keep heading straight up the street. I could continue the main quest, but let's just see the batting stuff, because now I can actually afford it. Hey, you, fella. Know anything about baseball? Oh, you mean me? Ah, uh, well, I guess you could say I do. Oh, then today's my lucky day. My name's Pedro, by the way. Nice to meet you. Same. I'm Shinada. Ah, Shinada. Has a nice ring to it. Anyway, where I'm from, we have no baseball. So we have no batting either. Everybody plays soccer instead. This trip to Japan is actually the first time I've stepped up to bat. It's kind of fun. But no matter how much I tried, I could never make the ball go sailing. It's hard to hit it right. Okay, so what's your angle? You want me to show you how to bat? Exacto mundo. Even if it's only for a little bit. Alright. Oh, alright. But only for a little bit, okay? Sure. You're awesome, Shinada. Aha. Uh -huh. So, where do I start? I may as well just show you. I'll demonstrate, so watch carefully. You got it. I'll use my laser focus. Okay, here's what you do. You walk through the door. You pick up a bat. You tell them Dave sent you, okay? You get $2 off your game. You take five games. You get another $2 off. You have $4. You go to the bar. You get yourself $4 off a drink. You have yourself a good time. The fact that I can ad-lib that shit, like, just so well. I mean, just, it rolls off the tongue. Just shows how, how many fucking times that guy, like, just tried to get people to go out. So in honor of Dave, this character has Dave's voice. Or at least my impersonation of it, anyway. What? Hey, Corrin. How's it going? I should be paying attention to this. I'm just trying to show this dude how to bat, and I've missed every single one. That's better. Ah. 
three more hits. Hang on. Let me focus on this. This is annoying. Oh, this is getting harder. All right, last, last one. Nah. It's nasty out. How was my day? Yeah, it's kind of the same here. Shit, I totally crapped out there. What happened, Shinada? Is that the, really the best you got? No, no, I'm just out of sync today. Give me a few moments and I'll be right back at it. Do it again. Or at least it doesn't charge me money. I think this minigame is a little clunky, not gonna lie. It just moves so quickly, like... Unless there's a way to predict what he's gonna throw. I'm missing it. Ah, come on. There we go. Good. It's a little clunky. There. That's how it's done. Shinada, that was crazy. You slaughtered that poor ball. How do you even do that? What's the secret? Secret, um, how should I put it? Okay, so the way you grip the bat and swing, that's honestly up to whatever you like, really. I guess you can say there are three major things you have to do. One, keep your eyes on the ball. Two, perfect your impact timing. And three, try to hit the ball with your bat's sweet spot. The sweet spot, eh? Where is it? Oh, that's, uh, kind of tricky to answer. Come to think of it. Think of it this way. There's a line right down the middle of the bat. If you can hit a pitch on that line, that would be the sweet spot. Okay, got it. The sweet spot is the center of the bat. That sounds about right. So after this, you should go up against the machines to get a better feel for it. Keep your eyes on the ball. Get the right timing. Hit with the sweet spot. Shinada, I think I got it. Yeah, sure sounds like it. If you can do those three things, you'll be hammering home runs in no time. Sweet, I'll try that out right now. Thanks, brother. Just sit back and watch your protege at work. It all comes down to practice. I should look in on them sometime. Alright. He's done. I bet if I walk outside and come back in, he'll... He'll be here. Oh. No, that's it. We're clear. We are clear. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk to the door. You go through the door. You save your game and you tell them Dave sent you. You get $2 off your save. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I've been doing the voice for this character the whole time. Someone's setting off fireworks. Okay. We're not done for the night. Um, taking a small intermission. I'm gonna get some iced tea because I've made some iced tea. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed um, Shinada's chapter so far. If you uh, want to support the channel over there, you know what to do. Just click buttons like the like button or if you want to watch me play other stuff, you can click one of the videos that pop up. But yeah, we'll continue this on Twitch after a small intermission, but on YouTube, we'll see you next time. All right. But take, um, yep, use the $2 you got off the save. All right, bye.